Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and comic art fans of all ages. Welcome to the 86th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. Welcome back. I mean, we've been off for 10 straight days. I bet you missed us. I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is very, very simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there will be 10 rounds of art for sale with each dealer bringing two artworks for sale per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less. Anything goes will go in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and 10. In total, 48 or 40, 48, no, really 40 artworks will be available for purchase during tonight's broadcast. As always, viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please, please, Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 1A-Mike or claim 7B-Anthony. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since both dealers will, I, well, I should let you know, <laughs> both dealers will accept reasonable time payments for most artworks you see available this evening. And we know sometimes that's needed these days since this is the internet there can be technical issues when several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio our view of the chat is ordered properly and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork during a dealer's round you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented however the dealer is not required to respond reply acknowledge or accept your offer be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale after the show, be sure to contact one of the dealers if you claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you claimed, your mailing address, and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to will and deal! Good evening, guys. Hey, it's been such a long time. It's yes, long 10 time. days or whatever. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, I think it's been about 10 or 11 10. days. Yeah. Bill, I just realized you need another haircut. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the hair grows faster in Florida. It, it really does, actually. I'll and it's so dang humid down here. I'm starting to look like Bozo the Clown. If I don't like uh, slick it back before the show, it'd be puffed out like, like that. Bilzo the Clown. Yes, Bilzo the Clown. There you go. <laughs> a new character for the channel one day. ML wants a dance-off. Sharon will rule the dance-off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's got more moves. I dance in slow motion. <laughs> the only way I, I look good when I'm dancing is if I, after we film it, I speed it up at least 50%. So that's my secret. Do the hammer dance. That's great. Yeah, that's my secret. How about you, Mike? How are you doing? All's well, all's well. All's well. All right, good, good, good. Well, we uh, we might as well do, let's get this coin flip going here. You know, I mean, uh, let's get some action tonight. I, the list of artists is actually really, really strong tonight, and the artwork all looks pretty good too. By the way, oh yeah, indeed, with ten day break. Yes, yes, exactly. We missed you, Bill. I texted you and said miss you on Wednesday night. You never texted me back or even liked it or acknowledged it. I don't know. <laughs> I did see it. I did see it. I was busy. Busy. Look at that. Yes. How is, how is that possible? We oh. win. <laughs> All right. Sharon's got a uh Sharon's got a uh 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 what are we gonna call it? 
we might change the name from the cat fight. Maybe it's a dog fight. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, well, I know that, that, uh, that. Maureen but, uh, is trying to get uh, everybody to, you know, both Cat and Sharon to make some brand new memes for this uh, show. Okay. Monday after next, I believe. So I got her a couple warm up pieces so she can start the whole proceedings. Woo! Yeah. Hot All right. Now. Okay, now Sharon. Started. Practice. So I guess Anthony's starting us off tonight. I didn't yeah. even have to ask. But Sharon's getting to start us off. All yeah. right. Let me. Uh, I didn't know this. Miss Cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get uh, the. Now remember, everybody, two artworks per round every every single round tonight, everybody. So you got to use your agency every, every round. So uh, let's get Anthony and Sharon started with their 1A artworks. Go, Sharon. Woo! Mark Bagley. Check it out. It's Catwoman. Beautiful portrait. Of course, it's signed by Mark Bagley. Woo! Right there. Really awesome. She's got that intense look going on that everybody loves from the cat woman she's gonna go steal something love her collar Woo. yeah <laughs> cat woman wait me baby we need some wonderful... what's the size on that one sharon the size let me see it looks like a there's no size and eight by... it's about eight inches tall the figure yes nine and a half actually by Nine. Nine. Am I what? saying that right? No, you're not. You need your glasses. I need my glasses. Help me, Anthony. It's nine, nine by, by twelve. 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. How many? Oh, are <laughs> I must punish nine by twelve. Nine by twelve. All right. Well, and uh, here's your one B artwork now. I sh I surprised her with this. Yes. So remember, everybody that gets claiming with the Anthony's comic book art gets his special dueling deals a comic book art the portfolio. Those portfolios are great. I love them. And I have 13 by 19, which is the big oh, popular you're second I piece. Have to move on, Anthony. <laughs> you're, on. you're distracting me. Alan Davis and Bob, how do you say that name again, Anthony? McLeod. 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 Uh, any way you want it. It's a commission. This McLeod. Is really cool. She's looking over her shoulder. She's like, meow. <laughs> 500. And what's the size on this one, Anthony? It's on 11 by 17 paper, and it's. About eight and a half by eight. That way, this way. This way, that way. Hulk, what is the size of your artwork? Let's find out. Uh, 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 11 by 17 inches. And... Uh. <laughs> That was a large art page. That was bigger than 1117. What are you talking about? Oh, I love that one. Hooray. So, uh, Kat Taka, thank you so much for picking up the yeah. 1B artwork. It's, and you've broken the ice. We appreciate now. that. Yeah, break the ice. Come on. And so, I think Kat's, uh, Kat's getting ready. She's get, she's going to be working on some memes too. I'm sure we're gonna yeah. we're gonna have a very good show when Kat and Sharon get together for for probably or Always possibly so the last time, at least for a very long time. All right, Mr. Berkey, we are uh, switching over to you for your round one artwork. So let me get one uh, A queued up and on the board. All right, very cool. Check this out by Andy Lee. This fully painted. This is all painted. Takes up the whole 11 by 17 inch. Uh, art paper, a uh, really nice uh, pinup of Electra, and it's fully painted with Electra holding both her sabers in a sexy pose. Again, drawn on 11 by 17 inch art paper with this crazy little signature thing there. Very, very cool. And that done in that really Asian style by Andy Lee. So, sort of a really cool and expensive. Uh, first piece there, folks. And I got to love that signature there at the bottom as well. But yes, cool they are size, not savers. I've got a piece of artwork by Andy Lee, by the way, too. Yeah. I like his stuff. Very uh, cool stuff. So that's the first one. Yep. Yeah. That's and, 350, uh, folks. Here's the second one. And the second one, again, another painting from, from the Batman, Castle of the Bat, Bo Hampton, 1994, page 32. This was great. Writer Jack C. Harris. This is Elseworlds tale. Bruce Wayne plays the role of Dr. Frankenstein as bat as he creates a Batman monster on this page right there. Signed by Bo Hampton at the bottom. Fully painted on 
12 by 17.7 inch artboard done in gouache. 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 Uh, gouache. Gouache. I like saying gouache. But uh, really cool piece. Fifty and, and about left side as as uh, the, the monster being created at the top. But again, fully painted, 1994, 28 years old, and signed at the. What are you doing in Times Square? He's doing his best Three Stooges routine. That's my now, territory. Now he's All doing... both paintings, folks. Both are paintings. Yeah, there's a theme to Mike's first round tonight. Well, we did the Catwoman theme. That's right, you did. I'm so, well. You always got a theme. I'm. I, I'm just I, I tried marking. to. I put. Try to put some thought into it. Let, spread everything out. Try to coordinate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Nice. Nice artwork there, Mike. Right, let's switch yeah. over to round two. Back to Sharon and Anthony with Anthony. I should say Sharon with Anthony. <laughs> That's right. She <laughs> is the star. Yes, she is. All right. Here is your two A artwork. All right. This, I, I, I mean, this is a great example. Uh, this is from 1999 uh, by the, the, the George Tusca, and it has a handwritten note in it. Captain America and Bucky, uh, price really, price to sell, price to get claiming. Wow. Get claiming. Beautiful pencil art from 1999. Yeah. George was a really sweet guy. He used to come around to the Big Apple shows all the time. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. A very good guy. It comes with this note enclosed other copies of blah, 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 and signed George. So you get a couple signatures in the deal as well. Uh, $500 for Captain America, Bucky, and uh, the the note. That's really nice to have. Such so a it's What's a the note. size of the art, Anthony? 9 by 12. 9 by yeah, 12. This is on a 9 by 12 piece of uh, drawing paper. Heavy drawing paper. I would say heavy. Is it heavy, Sharon? Ooh. It's Ooh. very heavy. Okay. So now, right now, my theme with these are just, uh, I'm going to be doing commissions through the, the next round. And then, oh, the next two rounds. Then we get into the published art. So nice. this, I got a collection of Walking Dead stuff and a zombie commission by Charlie Adler. Uh, I, I, you know, I've had Walking Dead pages, but I haven't had that many commissions. So a nice zombie page. Ah. Zombie. What size is that one, Sharon? I don't know. What size that one, Sharon? Oh, that's it. We're out of time. Oh no. Ding ding 14. ding ding. Eleven, 11 by, 14. by fourteen paper by the Charlie of the Adler of the Walking Dead. I love that signature. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, that is true. Uh, Charlie, there isn't a lot of uh, those kinds of drawings out there of uh commissions from charlie from walking dead i mean they're they're they're, they're around but uh, certainly not uh, you know that nice that that large typically so well, uh, if i've had a, a hundred walking dead pages i've had one commission yep. i'm the crypt keeper they are rare but hey you know what i would say guys you got to save the uh haunted artwork for next month right i mean october Halloween. i've yeah. been doing that yeah. right, thinking about that. Stuff. I'm, just, I'm just saying set them aside you yep. got a big got month of horror stuff. coming up yeah, uh, I guess you. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that. Well, it's Zombies okay. That's why I thought to say it right now. All right, Mr. Berkey, round two over to you. And round uh, two. Two A is on the board. This is a really cool one. Check this out. By the great Dan Adkins. It's signed Adkins Kirby, but but it's his all Adkins piece because he did it over a Jack Kirby piece, and he even signed and left a big long note on the back of it. This is done on. 15.5 by 14 inch Bristol board in 20. Dan Atkins passed away in 2013. This believed to have been done in the 1990s. Beautiful Thor pinup. Beautiful Thor pinup with him holding the hammer. And he explains to the fan what he was doing. This is based off of a, a Jack Kirby piece, but really, really nice uh, uh, piece. Uh, again, it was suggested from the fan here that uh, uh, how he changed a couple different things. But really, really nice ink on whiteboard, and it's big, 15 and a half by 14 inches. So really, really nice piece there. It's big. And again, again, signed again on the front and signed on the back where he's explaining to the fan what he was doing and everything on that. So that was the first one. Second one, I love this guy, Mike Mikowski. You got to see the detail on this piece. 
The entire piece, other than the Marvel Comics and the corner box, is all art. All the logo art. Beautiful cover recreation to Iron Man 101. The detail, this is all art. Even the word balloons, everything are drawn. And back in 2010, uh, Mike Mikowski recreated uh, Iron Man 101 where Frankenstein battles. I'm sorry, Iron Man battles Frankenstein in five little trolls. And on 11 by 16 and a half inch Bristol board. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Wow. And signed by him and dated 2010 in the corner box. When we're grilling steaks down in Florida, we like to make them well done. Oh. They might be a little too well done. Yeah, we don't know how to oh, use the grill right, right. down here yet. You got a patio cookout house? Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, we're decked out for, for uh, good times. That is for sure. I didn't know Adkins had such good handwriting, Mike, on the back of there. That was pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, I said, I said, he really did. He even ruled it and everything. Oh wow! So yeah, he, nice. very, very cool piece. It looks like that's professional lettering. I know. That's wow. why I was a little surprised. It didn't look like it was handwritten. It was too yeah. nice. Did you yep. start out as a letter for really Jason nice? Just four fifty, folks. Yeah. All right, moving on to round three for uh, the Snyder Man and Sharon. Go. Let's see here. Where are we yeah. at? Where are we at? Okay. There it is. The theme is color commissions. Uh, this uh, Steve Rude, Barbara Gordon is Oracle color art. Sharon Sell it. Wow, I love the colors. Check that out. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesomeness. So Barbara Gordon as Oracle uh, in her house. Cool. And somebody's coming to looks get her. Like, yeah, it looks like she's on the defensive. She's, she's going to get. She's got some uh, weapons in her hand, some, some kind of. Batons. Batons. <laughs> really cool. Look at that. You're stretching it there. It's very yeah. nice. What? You're stretching there for that one. Batons? Yeah. <laughs> Not as good as the butts. Pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. From Thank you very much. It's 750 bucks. Steve All right, Reed. and what do we got next here? Oh, Mike McConnell. Oh, we got the Sharon as the girl Robin. Robin. There yeah, I am. Dark Knight Returns, short-haired Sharon Robin. Even got Sharon legs. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Kinda. She kind of got dancer legs. All right. Now, uh, this is by the great Mike McCone. I love his color work. And, uh, Beautiful watercolor. And uh, someday me and Sharon are going to cosplay as the Frank Miller Dark Knight. That would be fun. That would be fun. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, cut your hair. Go ahead. Well, I can wear a wig like this. <laughs> so that's an 11 by 17 board. Beautiful watercolor. 950. Does this make you creamy, baby? She likes the kissing with the bad candy. Mm -hmm. Well, we know Anthony's got Peter Pan slippers, Black Viper of uh, Dorn. That is for sure. Don't you, Anthony? Peter Pan slippers? Did I ever wear slippers? It's the bunny slipper. You got the pink bunny slippers. I thought you had some uh, little green got slippers. The, got the hook boots. Got the hook, the hoof, the hoof. The... Nope. Nope. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. All right, Mike, round three over to you, sir. Let's see. Where are we at here? Get your round All three. Right. All right. queued up and some Wallywood. Check this out. Done on actual Bristol board. I love this. They call these woodlings sketch pin up. Ten pinups, fully, nine of them are fully detailed by Wally Wood. This was great. Done in the 1970s with the girl there. There's one that's sort of uh, just barely done in pencil, but nine beautiful, beautiful finished creepy creatures all with fangs this would have been a good halloween piece but fully detailed pencils uh by the great wally wood done on 9.2 by 10.8 inch bristol board and a little bit of toning and stuff on there but just a beautiful fully finished nine full uh woodlings they call them those little creatures and everything and just a very cool piece done on 9.2 10.8 inch bristol board by the great Wally Wood, no in the seventies, probably fifty years old here, folks. So really nice piece. Second one, man, I love this guy, Jamie Biggs, 
Spider-Man and Wolverine done on 11 by 17 inch board in 2017. What a great piece. Drawn edge to edge. I mean, get a load of this piece. I mean, he does Todd McFarlane and then some sometimes. But beautiful, beautiful pinup. Get a load of get a load of Wolverine smirk on his face too, as he intends to play out this crazy scene with Spider-Man. Just a beautiful cover quality commission. Again, edge to edge pencils and inks on 11 by 17 Bristol board, signed and dated in the lower left. Oh, great. Spider-Man, Really nice pieces there, folks. You make a good Spider-Man there, Mr. Berkey. Oh, happy days. All right. Now, I hate things are moving along pretty quick now. Let's, uh, we got round four, and it's back to the Snyder-Man. Snyder-Man, Snyder-Man. Here you go. Right. This round is Coptic Marker. Coptic Marker commissions. Oh, look at that. Michael Zek. Fully tonality. The tonal tonality of the Whoa. the big A man himself, Captain America. Look at that! How big is that, Sharon? Very cool. It looks like eight by ten. What would you say? Uh, eight and a half by eleven, Sharon. Okay, man, you know your stuff. It's eight and a half by eleven. It is. So it's kind of <clears throat> by the Michael of the Zach. Wow. wow! Look at that! A yeah, very clean piece. Very clean, and he's got the Anthony Chin. If you like the Anthony Chin, I like the Anthony Chin. Sharona likes Anthony Chin. Yes. Okay. You now you moving on. It all day long. Next up, Adam Hughes. Oh, look at that, Adam now, is Hughes. That one eight by ten. Wilhelmina from League of Extraordinary Down Gentlemen. Oh, so cool. Now, yeah, That's this is eight by, by 10. ten, but ah. a fully accomplished Coptic marker, babe. By a you know and a and a and a uh, what do you call it? Mm, Victorian a, uh, style dress. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, yeah, Victorian style, babe. From League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. They're what around uh, the turn of the century, Bill. You like them, right? You like that that franchise, right? Well, of course, yeah. It's oh, awesome. Cool. League yeah. of Extraordinary <laughs> Downton <laughs> Abbey. That's great. And she's wearing a nice corset and. Uh, oh push up uh victorian bra yeah. i put the girl in claimer baby there's no girl in claimer I just, I just had to tell you that it was a good joke though anthony i, I did thank love you. that one thank you thank you i'm getting critiqued at every it's every juncture it's <laughs> oh boy she loves me yeah no it, we, it, and, it, and it it shows it really does show thank you sharon somebody's got to do it right and that lets you off the hook That's, that is right that is right yeah. <laughs> you've got some pr pretty big sprinkles on this evening yes, Karen. very big and there's my cup i'm a cupcake <laughs> we've, that we've been making girl. cupcakes around know. here every like every other day that's been our staple for breakfast here the girls uh, and maureen have been making cupcakes like every other day yeah so, I am, I'm eating. Do you need uh, that many cupcakes? Yes. Cupcakes and muffins yes. and you name Cupcake it. Cupcake is the uh, primary food group in Florida. It is. I, I, I found that out. Group everywhere. Florida man lives on cupcakes, muffins, and uh, uh, Bud Light. All right, Mike, Yay. round four, over to you. <laughs> and that wall needs some art. God. I know. All my You're frames are down break the ice on that wall. Ohio. My frames are up in Ohio. I don't have any frames to hang on the wall down here. All right, Mike, let's get you started with this cover from Ooh, Dynamite. Red Sonia. We got this cover, cover, Red Sonia number 24 by Adriano Batista. Really, really nice cover from 2008. And there's the published image Bill is showing there on the bottom right there in the other, other uh, uh, frame there. Beautiful cover. Uh, as battle scene with red sonia holding her shield in her left arm with three arrows stuck in it and she holds a spear in her right hand and her sword at her waist beautiful cover drawn on 11 by 17 inch artboard almost edge to edge on the sides and goes to, close to the top but beautiful published cover 
14 years old. From somebody, whoever works for Dynamite. I don't know who works for Dynamite, but from Dynamite Comics, the published cover. Right. Happy days. <laughs> so that's the first one. And 14 years old. That one would have went, boy, oh, boy. And the second one from 1973, done in, I love it, pen and ink on uh, permanent marker. Uh, Bob Kane, his, his buddy, his buddy, it's funny, he writes, to my pal Howard's sister, Leon. <laughs> Best always, 1973. Really nice, larger Batman piece, too. Done on a 14 by 11 inch artboard, signed and dated by Bob Kane in 1970. Almost 50 years old by the late, great Bob Kane. And great portrait images of Batman and Robin on 14 by 17 inch Bristol board. This isn't done on paper or anything. Done on actual Bristol board, 14 by 11 inches. Maureen, fetch me another one of these delicious light beers. Dueling Dealers is about to start. Should have played that at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Dueling Should Dealers have. starting in the middle of the day? like. Uh, hey, I got to film my news when the sun shines, my friend. And it's it. Bud Light Mead. <laughs> nice legs, says Mr. Easy Go Lucky. <laughs> uh, poor Maureen, says Mr. Danny's. Uh, yes, poor Maureen. She has to put up with a lot, but she she writes a lot of this stuff, just so you know. She was filming that. So, right. she, she was approving it. She was approving yeah. all of it. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So where, where are we going to? We're going to round five now with, with the Snyder Man. You ready, you ready Anthony? Anthony? Jinx. Okay. Jinx. Published card. <laughs> what happened, Jinx? We said the same thing. Right. Are you ready, Anthony? Yes. Uh, we've been yeah. doing this too long, Sharon. I've been looking, oh, man. looking forward to this all day. Yep. Here we go. Round five. For all Mr. right. Snyder. For all you Marvel Cosmic fans, look at this. We got the Warlock and the Infinity Watch, 18 page one, with everybody on it and everybody. this big super strong guy because warlock's looking out the window uh pondering the cosmic universe and then you have oh wow moon dragon when her Here sexy outfit and the gamora and the pip so you got the whole crew with a big max's amnesia trips a crock of bull i don't know what i don't know where does pip get cigars out in the cosmos Where's that post angel go? So, yeah, Angel, uh, written by Jim Starlin, uh, pencils by uh, Angel Medina, uh, to me, uh, an underrated artist, and uh, and then inks by the great Bob Almond. Oh, what's that? Wow. What that? A Doctor Strange but cello page. Whoa, what a quick, good switch that is. Look Where at is this. Ba magic battle action by the Bacello. Oh, look at that. That's fun to say. All kinds of, yeah, say it again, Sharon. Jello. That one yeah. is gorgeous. Yeah, it's just, and uh, it's just got great, you know, three panels, two panels, one panel, boom. And he's summoning up a big magic yeah. spell to defeat that enemy. Boom. It really jumps <laughs> off the page. Woo. Great inks by Alve, guy that was really great on, uh, that uh, Avengers run with George Perez, right? Have you been drinking too much Asgardian ale like me? Why don't you claim some art already? <laughs> See, that's what happens to you when you drink Asgardian ale. When you drink the the light beer, you uh, you get uh, you know you get buff like I was a meme <laughs> before that. But that is a very nice Doctor Strange page. I'll, I'll give you that. And Dr. Strange really is saying, nice. claim some art! Yes! <laughs> All right, Mr. Berkey, round five, over to you. Let me swing it around. And round five, started. you amazing Spider-Man splash people out there. Check this out, Paolo, Paolo Rivera. Amazing Spider-Man 641, the, the title splash, which is page three. Real nice full splash on 11 by 17 board. With Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, and Tony Stark all talking in an astral plane 
singing about Peter Parker. Really nice. Done on Marvel board, of course. Uh, that's the first one. And uh, shoot, I forgot to write the year on it, but people will figure that out. I'm guessing this is like around 2010 or something, 2010, 2011, something like that. I forgot the year. But uh, Spidey 641 splash page. And there's the published image there on the bottom right. With Billy. right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I love Paulo's work. Yeah, so that's the splash. And this is really cool. Ken Landgraf and Romeo Tango from 1978. Candor's Batman and Robin. We got great full splash with Nightwing and Flamebird. In their version of the Candor Batcave, as a bunch of menaces from the Phantom Zone charge at them. I like the bag of it too. They actually have tons of uh, a lot of pencil bodies figuring out and everything. But 1978 from the classic story. And I, man, I used to love, I almost had that cover. And both heroes are featured on the cover. Look at that with Superman. But really nice page from 1978 from the chapter. <laughs> Fight with the Phantom Zone fiends as Nightwing and Flamebird are trying to call Crypto for help to battle the Phantom Zone menaces. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Yeah! Yeah! Forty-four years old, folks. Wow. Forty-four years old. Is, My the detail goodness. on it's beautiful. It looks like almost Neil Adams-ish. But it's beautifully, beautifully drawn. I've never beautiful, heard of beautiful. Flame Bird or whatever that other character was. Yeah, Flame Bird and Nightwing. They're the Batman and Robin of Candor in the Bottle of Candor. So. Hmm. I missed that one. Yep. A lot All of the right. DC guys know it. Yes. And we've got some DC guys in the audience. There's All DC right. guys everywhere. They come in A lot all the of time the 70s DC guys, I should say. There's. All right. I believe you guys. I do. Round six. Over to you, Mr. Snyder. Ready? Yes. All right, we got a big, a big Spidey Man round. Look at this. If you're a fan of Venom from the 90s, Ron Randall and Sam Dollar Venom separation anxiety. Oh, and that's that's uh that's uh Eddie Brock uh getting uh pushed around as Venom, and uh you get to see his face some. Yeah. Whoa. But, uh, you know, 90s Venom art is hard to come by. Yep. Ron Randall and Sam Delarosa. Great guy, Sam. Hey, I've known him hey, for hey. a long time. He loves art, loves collecting art, and uh, a very accomplished artist in the business for what? The past, jeez, mm, 40 years, <laughs> Sam? Are you out there? You've claimed a couple of things on the show. If you're out there, oh. say hi, Sam. Really that awesome. is true. And here's your next All piece. All right. Now you got the venom, and now you got the carnage. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, Sal wow, Buscema, Art Seabert, Cybert, Thobert. T Bear. Huh? T Bear. T Bear? Really? T Bear. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now you could say Thybert, Anthony. It sounds better. Yeah, I know. Hey, Gouch. Oh. Gouch. Gouch. Gouch and Thybert. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, we got the, the wow, yeah. wow! This is a great page. Sam, Sam, uh, Sal Buscema, uh, Carnegie, uh, spectacular Spider Man, and just really good vintage Carnage. It is a nice looking page, signed by Sal. All right, show those like looking for the best deals in the business. They're on Creamy Island. Gauch and Thybert sound like Muppets, if you ask me. <laughs> I agree. I so want to do a balcony guys meme. Hey, uh, uh, Anthony. Do a whole show. We're gonna do something. Don't worry. You and you and Mike in the in the balcony for a uh, Muppets, you know, kind of theme show would be perfect. Yes. So uh, Jeffrey Moy has made you an offer on that uh, beautiful uh, piece by Adam. And he's I'll, I'll do 900 out. right now, Jeffrey. 900. Split the difference. Is that splitting the difference? Do that the math. Like, that is splitting the difference, Anthony. Split All right. So the uh, difference. Anthony is countering at $900 on the uh, Wilhelmina by Adam Hughes. Oh, uh, she was, that's the agency. Uh, extraordinary she was gentleman. With when she was modeling, she was with Wilhelmina. 
Yes, she was. So, all right. Moving on to round six for the Berkey. <laughs> hanging out at the Ramita Mansion. Yes, indeedy. All now right. we're, we got a triangle of love art here going. Check out this. One of the best battle painters in the book. 40 years of... Uh-oh. Mike Single Mike channel battling these crazy guys. These crazy hick guys that want to kill him with fire and a bunch of uh, pitchforks. But beautiful page from the story, something to live for. Again, Swamp Thing in all five panels, battling men with fire and pitchforks. Just a great, and look at that published scene there, Billy, is shown on the bottom right. But great 40-year-old all battle Swamp Thing. Look at that. I won't even feel that torch. My body's too wet. And all this moss and slime. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous 40-year-old Swamp Thing page there, folks. That's the first one. Yeah, that is a Go nice one. It. Somebody's going to get it on the website. Check out this oversized, beautiful Joe Chiodo published painting. Phenomenal. From the Daredevil, from the book Daredevil and Black Widow, Avatar, the graphic novel, painted page 39. Great page with Daredevil in the snow trying to find Black Widow. And there's the published page. Bill is showing there in the bottom right. Beautiful page. Uh, done on 12 by 18 inch artboard. Uh, the art image is a little, I should measure the art itself. Let's see. Uh, the art itself, I didn't measure. Yeah, 11 by 11 by 15 and a half is the actual painted image, but beautiful. Three huge panels, Daredevil in all of them. Just a gorgeous piece. I might have even had this on the show. I actually sold this last year, and then I did a deal with a guy recently for three pieces of art and got this one back. So. So, a uh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Wait up, Loki! You forgot your headpiece! I love those shorts. Yeah. The neighbors really uh, are getting an eyeful. <laughs> I'm, I can't figure out why no one's come over to introduce I, themselves since we've been really? here. Really? <laughs> You're supposed to bring a pie to them. Uh, you're running around you know, in your underwear with a rubber hammer, pretending uh, to interact with a, a sprinting alligator. Why right. didn't they come? It's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. But yes, that, the uh, Yates was very nice, Mr. Berkey. Definitely a, yeah, a very nice said, man. And the, the I Chiodo, I don't remember. They'll go that in today, before. but they'll go on the website. They don't go tonight, but hopefully they go tonight. That Screen, is true. Man. That is true. All right, moving on to round seven. Yeah, two rounds until that's not Carnage. That's a different villain, but it's, he looks like him. No, this is this is part of Carnage, isn't it? Isn't it Carnage? That's not Carnage, Carnage though. That's that's one of the. I believe that's one of the villains, but but maybe it is. I, I don't know. I, didn't think I actually it. looked this up. Oh, did you? Okay. I just didn't. I don't remember him ever wearing a Spidey outfit, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Tony Bristley says I should bring my neighbors a Thorberry. <laughs> Shortcake. Yes. Uh, okay. Thorberry shortcake it is. And uh, yeah, Marcus yeah. says my occupation is meme guy. So if anybody comes over and wants to know what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to endure so me more. <laughs> I'll be hearing ATVs on a regular basis after uh, they know that. Doing donuts in your eight acre backyard. Yeah, you see the hedge in the back. It's That's where it was all going on the other night was just behind the just behind the hedges. Oh my God. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Easy, like he says, they're all thinking Halloween came early. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> that alligator is what it is. really moving. Was that like a land speed record for an alligator? No, they they, fast. They're fast. They, they, they have a, you know, in a short distance, they can. When spring. they're trying to eat something. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they can be fast. quick. All right. Round seven over to Mr. Snyder. Let's see here. What do we got queued up for him? Oh, here we go. I found it. You ready? Some yeah, J. Scott I'm Campbell. I'm sure that was Carnage. It's not ready. After being possessed by Carnage symbiote, Ben Riley fights to keep it under control. Okay. Yeah, so that's like Ben Riley is Carnage. All right. Now, right, it's this not one's the Carnage, right? Huh? It's not the it's Carnage. Possessed Ben Riley, possessed by Carnage, so it's Carnageized right. whatever Ben Riley. Okay. Right? right. I don't know. I thought it was the end. Okay. So these are two J. Scott Campbell, <laughs> Babylicious. Cover prelims, Wonderful. and uh, these I are the. I love these. 
these are the two uh, we actually found the uh, the covers that they were prelims to. Oh, so wow. you get two on one board from X Men Blue and X Men Gold. Uh, one featuring Jean Grey doing some mental prowess. It's like Sharon trying to control me around dinner time, and then the, the, you got the sort of a reversed angle storm uh, with, I think that's. Uh, bam, 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 bam. We yeah. gotta show the next art. This one's nine by twelve. Anybody wants to know? Nine by twelve. Beautiful prelims. Awesome. All right, now talk about super hot modern artist David Finch. This is a commission that was mocked up like a cover. It's got an overlay on it. But you have a pencil by David Finch and wow. inked by uh, Richard Friend. So, uh, and that is a cover quality. Wow. Check it out. That is awesome. Looks like he got beetle juiced. Beetle juiced? Beetle juice? Beetle juice? Shrunken head? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I, no, he does that. I have a lot of them. And he does that all the time. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it's sort now of. A... I have that teeth, baby, but not as bad as this guy. <laughs> now, now he's got a shrunken head right there. <laughs> well, that's uh, just an homage uh, to my uh, logo. My uh, no, Wood. we know. We Wood know. Who's a super well, nice guy? I love these days. We'll have a meme with you uh, and a dinosaur. Oh yeah, yeah, it can be done. Nick Ooh. wants to know if that's a blue line. Who? What? No. This one? No. Which one? The. Uh... The Hulk. Oh. <laughs> because it was inked by friend. No, this is the guy that I buy from. That he gets the pencils and he gets the inks. He did. It's all on one board. Yes. So it's all on one board. No blue lines. Yeah. Very good. All right, Mike. Round seven. Over to you, my friend. And uh, let's see. 7A on the board. Round Probably. seven. Very cool. For the book, Iron Man, the end number one, it has on it, uh, this was the, the, the prototype Iron Iron Man suit pinup for Iron Man, the end. It's dated 08. The, the comic book came out uh, January of 09. So uh, it's fully penciled ink, marble board, and it's the uh, Iron Man the End prototype armor pinup, pencils and inks by Bob Layton from 2008. So very cool, very cool piece. 14 years old from the great uh, uh, series of uh, Iron Man the End number one. So done on 11 by 17 inch marble board. And signed and dated at the bottom. So that's the first one there. For you Iron Man fans out there. Now and the second one. Allred. Very cool. Mike Allred. Pencil inks from Spider-Man Mad Men. Hullabaloo number two. Page 20. Both heroes throughout the entire page. Mad, uh, 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 Mad Man and Superman in the first panel. Both of them in the second panel. And then the kids in the third panel, then Superman and Man Man both saving each kid in this story, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, eight different, eight, uh, six different people get Superman's powers and they're trying to figure out who got him. While this little girl got him as she whips her brother down the slide, Superman saves him and Man Man the girl. So very very cool, beautiful piece. And there's the published image. Uh, Bill is shown on the bottom right. I love how they look. They look in color. But the great Mike Allred and both heroes in action poses. Just a great, great. Oh, no! Taking a tumble. All right, moving over to round. Uh, oh, is Anthony muted? Anthony, you're muted, sir. He's still muted. I was complaining about Mike being in my neighborhood again. I used to live right on the other side of the Essex house, right there, Central Park. By, you're talking about Mike Allred? No, your meme where Mike uh, fallen oh, in, oh, the the, in Central oh, Park. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Times Square. He's in Central Park. That's right. Mike is Mike gets around your town He's more than omnipresent. Wow. <laughs> Mike did a cannonball. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'll be at booth 35, double booth 3523 at New York Comic Con. So I'll be close there for the New York Comic Con. I'm finally going. First time since 2019. Right, Happy days. In a few right, weeks. We're, we're starting round eight. And of course, we get to see Sharon's cake after round eight. So don't forget that, Sharon. I won't. She's ready. ready. All right. So let's get Anthony on the board here. Where is Anthony's round eight artworks? Oh. Oh, no, that's Mike's. Here we go. Anthony's round eight. Herb Trimpy. All right. For all you Cosmic fans, we have the artist formerly known as Herb Trimpy with a nice silver surfer pencil and ink on paper, heavy paper. And uh, it's beautiful. He's yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I uh, always got along with Herb, and I uh, was sorry to see him go. Uh, he's got a book out about his experience as a chaplain down on uh, the pile, they used to call it, 9-11 and uh, Ground Zero. And he was down there for a few months. Uh, so I uh, hear it's a very good read. Uh, uh, check it out if you have the Constitution to do so. I do not. Anyway, so that is your first one and your second one. one. Wow, look at this. Art. This is unique. I also got an offer 1800 for the Finch. Yes, you did. But let's talk my... about this one. You can talk about the offer when you're done showing All off right, these so six pieces of art. Look at this, folks. Here. Look at this. A whole week of dailies. Wow. One look at what the is spiny this? sense tingling. 118. There. Love that. 119. Here, Sharon. I got it. Uh, 120. 120. 121. 121. 122. No way. 123. And 123. And 123. Oh, <laughs> so a whole week of dailies by Alex Havoc, Larry Lieber. I mean, uh, what what do they do? What do you think, Mike? Uh, Larry, Larry kind of laid them out and Saviak inked them and still got Larry Lieber's name on it. But Oh, does it really? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. I didn't think Lieber and by Stavik ever worked together. Huh? You don't think they worked together? I don't think Stavik and Lieber ever worked together, but it's possible. Oh, okay. All right, so they, they just probably a hold over on the name, but it's Alex Stavik Art. Six, six dailies. And of all action versus Sabretooth. That would look great on the wall. <laughs> really? So, let's see. Well, Anthony, let's address that offer that, uh, that you had. All right, let's do that with uh, Michael of the Lovitz. All right, and that was four. And where was that? Uh, oh, the David Pence. That. that was that was seven B. Seven B at eighteen hundred dollars. Yes. Yay! Thank you very yeah. much, Michael. I love it. Thank you very much, Michael. I guess he likes a little making making deals while he's on the phone doing business. That's pretty good. Michael likes a little. Thank you, uh, Nick Berucci, for uh, for handling that. Like that, Nick was uh, Michael's proxy on that one. Yes, thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. Yeah. All the way from South Jersey. And if, and if you're paying attention to Nick in the chat, everybody, hit, hit that thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube because uh, that helps our algorithm. Nick will tell you that. He's telling you that all the time. So hit the thumbs up. Let's try to reach at least like 175, 180 by the end of the show tonight. That would be very, very good, I'd say. Very good. Please. All right, Mr. Berkey, over to you for round eight, and then we get to see uh, what amazing thing Sharon has baked for us tonight. So uh, here we go, Mike. The great George Perez. Check this out from 2007. Huh? Done on 11 by 17 inch artboard. 15 huh? years old. Beautiful Wonder Woman. Look at the detail on that piece. Wow. Beautiful pinup by the great George Perez. 15 years old. Uh, and is it, uh, it is done on DC, DC uh, artboard as well. 11 by 17 DC artboard by the great George Perez from 2007. Just a beautiful, beautiful, fully penciled and inked detailed commission pinup by the great George Perez. That it is, is nicely done. There. So that is the first one. All right. And your next artwork. And the second one from this great book, Brian, I'm not familiar with it, Brian Apthorpe and Scott Hampton. But the dreaming, what the dreaming special was a very sought-after book in 1998. I've seen what page from this go for. This is the splash page with Cain and Abel and Gregory the Gargoyle, which is sort of cool. 
in silhouette. But the page one splash from 1998 from the Dreaming Special number one from the story titled Trial and Error. Just a great story written by Len Wayne. Very, very popular book. And again, the splash page. This is, I believe, the only page where Kane and Abel together were on the splash from the Dreaming. From the great Sandman offshoot book. Very, very cool splash page. Really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ramita man's Ramita sets his tingling tonight. Oh, yeah. I think that's the wrong meme. Yeah, I think we should have played that. Let Ramita man eat some cake now. Ramita man. Cake. Ramita man. Cake. Maybe they're going back in time and maybe they know the ending or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ramita Man and Cake. I can tell you, Shan's cake isn't from Piggly Wiggly or Kroger's or Publix or whatever you wherever you go down there. Yeah, I've never even heard of those three. None of them in Ohio. Oh, okay. No. ShopRite? What do you got? What do you got? No, we don't have ShopRite. We have Giant Eagle and Acme. We have Acme here, too. And we have Aldi's. Yes, oh. well, we have Aldi's down here as well, Mike. Yeah, all these is everywhere I know. Yes. They don't say uh, cake. Though. Cake? Uh, Publix is from... Uh, Publix. It's Publix. <laughs> yes. Publix is from Florida. And, and they likes the pubics, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, I like big bunts and I cannot lie. There, look at those moves. See, she loves me. Yeah, <laughs> she, she better. <laughs> Well, it's cake break time. It's cake break, cake time. break time. Or is it pie break time? What? What is it? I said, hey, why don't we have some <laughs> pie sometime? And Sharon came up with a fun idea. So I made a cake that's very boring, but it's kind of exciting on the inside. Oh, ah! It's going to fall. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, okay, so this is a chocolate pecan pie. Smiley face. Pie caken. Pie caken. It's an homage to uh, Watchmen I'm gonna or something, right? I'm going to cut this right? open because. We're going to cut it on camera. There's an actual. Well, I'm going to have to put it down to cut it. So. No, 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 no. I'll hold it. You can cut me. No. Yeah, we got to see this me, man. This is the Halloween show two weeks early, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I lost it Ah. See, it's edible. Cold. Oh we boy. Gotta put it down. Okay. Put it down. Yes. Anthony's not strong enough. Yes. Oh God. Those days are are long past. <laughs> need, hey, I've been her base for thirty years. I need the axe, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stand up for this. I'm huh? excited to see because I baked a pie on the inside. Of I the can't. Cake. I don't. I don't believe you. Yeah. It's called a. Uh, Pie caking. Pie Say that to camera, Shannon. Pie caking. <laughs> I don't think that's might, fun might to say. Round to see Wait, come on, cut that thing, Sharon. It's, it's coming. I got it. Oh, it looks good. Maybe you, <laughs> Jeff says uh, I was I was too quick to blame you, Anthony. Maybe Sharon's knife isn't sharp enough. Exactly. Uh, boing. Pie oh, caking. Like my dad's old uh, uh, old best friend, John Madden, <laughs> with the turducken. Really awesome. Okay, wait, let's put this down because you got to try this. Which you one? This one? Halloween pie. show. You ah! see pie on the oh, boy. I don't think I like the look of that no, no. knife in Anthony's mouth. Ooh, a nice pretty fork from our so Tell us about the cake in its okay, entirety. So I put cake on the bottom. A whole entire pecan pie in the middle, and then more cake batter on the top, and then cooked it, baked it. Release the cake, and I Is love it good? that. Is it good? You like it? It's kind of stodgy. Oh, bummer. <laughs> and the pecan smile. <laughs> well, it must be delicious. It's really good. You're not saying a word. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now I get it. You got to kind of understand what it is. Oh, okay. It's delicious. See, that's you're the pie. Still, you're still getting the cake your and the pie and the, and then the frosting. Okay. And it's the reason why it was hard to cut was because it was in the freezer for a while. Yeah, it's a little frozen. Don't put it in the microwave. 
You, that's a great idea. I'm gonna go do that. Really? Yeah. Black, black rib corn. Did the pie get cooked twice? Sort yes. of. Sort of. Yes. But you know, pecan it's pies. Okay. Are, it doesn't affect it. Yeah, pecan pies are not gonna. Not well. their chemistry is not ever gonna change. All right. So yum. that's the pie cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, that might not you make it to the, the warehouse tomorrow. I'm beginning to think Anthony and Sharon might eat it all. <laughs> well, you know, I just threw away my uh, Ribbick's cube uh, today. That cake. And I was, yeah, it was in the it was in the refrigerator at the at the uh, at the warehouse uh, for a while. Yeah. I, I'm getting tired of my. You didn't cake give it to all the workers. Cake. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I should. Give them a nice sugar They'll face. Get get anything work done. Done. They might not right. get anything done. Just go, oh, you know, kind of uh, pecan blip. <laughs> I don't know. When she makes like uh, structurally uh, beautiful uh, sculptures, I don't like to eat them or Nobody even destroy them, them. And so they just until I just throw them away and then when they, they rot. They really sag and look really sad, and then yeah. you have to throw them away. And all the all the all the Rubik art had uh, melted off. It oh, was no. weird. Yes, yeah. Scott Wingo, you can have some pecan pie cake. And yeah. Come on by. I'm going to go microwave this. I'll be right back. All right. Let's get back to the show here. Round nine over to the Snyder Man. Well, that you. was the show. Let's just get back to selling art. Let's get back to selling. <laughs> okay, sir. Man. All right. 9A will be on the board momentarily. 9A. Four, That's Mr. a good Snyder. one, right? You tell yes, me. Yes, it is. Wow, for all you Flash fans, look at this. The cover to Flash Companion. Wow, beautiful piece of art by Don Kramer. I believe he accomplished this all by himself. Look at that. It's got the uh, Golden Age Flash and Barry Allen and Kid Flash and Impulse. So look at that, the Flash Companion. Very, very wall capable piece. Wow. Do you like Flash? Do I like Flash? Like Flash, Bill? I, yeah, I've not read a lot of Flash in my time. Yeah, this would look good on that bare wall behind you. <laughs> it's so a nice looking uh, cover. I'll give you that. 9A. Published cover by Don Kramer of the Flashes. And it just looks beautiful. Beautiful piece of art. Very well. Is that a carotid debut, Anthony? Everything in this show is a carotid debut. Nothing Everything. has been on my website. Everything. Well, that's what I'm I like to hear. Five. Everything. And I, I almost did uh, next week today, but I didn't. Got busy with comic deals at the. Now, look at this. Another carotid debut of Frank Quietly. Frank Quietly cover. Of the Bruce Wayne and the Batman. Look at that. Frank Quietly. Everybody, I mean, I, I get asked about Frank Quietly art, uh, you know, at shows, you know, like Gotti Frank Quietly. It's like a lot. So here it is, guys. I got a Frank Quietly art. And it's a published cover to Comic Box Noir. K. Pu du Batman. What is that? Who's Afraid of Batman? Who's afraid I took of Spanish, so I don't know. Huh? I said I uh, took Spanish in high school. And you don't know? No, I don't. Oh, is this in French? Okay, Frank me. Quietly comic box noir cover. Bruce Wayne Batman. Look at that. Published yes, quietly cover. And it's quietly. Even Simon's telling you that. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Quietly. Not quiet. It's not quiet. Quietly. You got to go quietly into the bedroom. No, it's quietly. When the Sharon is asleep. Quietly, quietly. We'll work on it later. Quietly. Quietly, yes. Okay. All right, moving over to Mr. Gouache. Berkey for, uh, for his. Thybert. By Thybert. <laughs> telling you, we, a Muppets episode is in our future with with we have, with all artists waka, and art medium for the names of the characters, but if, they will all be mispronounced. So I think that I think we can do that. I, I think waka, we can do that. Exactly. All right. Pencils round nine. Only, like... Garden. Pencils only. All right. Here you go. Yeah, Mike. it's a pencil piece. Yes. Check out this large art. Bernie writes in Punisher POV number one. 
good. great large art page with the two villains of the story. The crazy, crazy character, Chester, okay, let me pause it, Goodall, the monster hunter, and his mother, who in his mind, she's actually a monster. Very, very cool page with the two villains as he's getting ready to start start his killing spree. And uh, Ber- signed by Bernie Wrights and Bottom, again, done on twice up, 12 by 18 in Chartford. From the story titled Point of View, Book One, Foresight. But just a great page with the delusional Chester Goodall and his mother, who in his mind is actually a monster. And just a cool piece. Pencils, inks by Wrightson, and signed by Bernie Wrightson at the bottom. Drawn twice up. So very, very cool piece there by the great Bernie Wrightson. From the first issue, 31 years old. And there's the published image there on the right with Bill also. So that's the first one. Second one for you Daredevil fans, Daredevil issue 101, beautiful, beautiful page. Rich Buckler, inked by Frank Giacoya from 1973 from the story Vengeance in the Sky with Diamonds. I'm assuming Lucy in the Sky, that song must have just come out probably and it was popular. But beautiful page where he just takes off his mask, but he's still in costume. As uh, as he's in that great sequence, and he meets up uh, with Ivan Petrovich just as uh, Black Widow opens the door in the very last panel. Very, very, very cool. But the three money shots, of course, are the top are the top three panels. And he, again, he's still in costume in every single panel. Is uh, Daredevil. So, and there's even some. There's even a few where they set up the page. There's even some uh, pencil layout layouts on the. Page. He's setting up his page, but this '70s oh, Marvel art movie, great Russ Heath war page. It's the first one I've ever got. I can't wait to add more to my collection. I want to get a second one. What do you think? Let's fix that. Now Billigan has two Heath war pages. <laughs> Burn that Hulk. I love that pregnant Hulk. <laughs> Hulk, you, you ate a lot of pecan pie before he, oh, he yeah, pie. Muscles, were, hey, muscles were really sticking out. <laughs> By the way, Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds was on Sgt. Pepper's, I think, right? That was like uh 67, 68. Yeah, Vengeance in the Sky with Diamonds. So they maybe they did a remake, but they made that the title. Isn't that it, right? Warmed up, it's amazing. Oh my god. Put that thing down, Anthony. You're, yeah. you're not going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> All right. Moving on to round 10. Let's keep this thing going. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is going to be all gone before tonight is over. All uh, right, Anthony. Very edible. Go. It is. It is. Edibles tonight. Good. Clearly. Round 10. Anthony, here you are. Edibles. Yeah, they're available at your local pot shop now. Yeah. Taking mm-hmm. this away. Oh, she's taking it away. Now look at this one. You like a John Byrne great Man of Steel Superman page? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. They're cleaning up from a big battle with the Doom Patrol. And then he's got the robot man's head on it. You know, he's like uh, signed by John Byrne. And then like, oh, oh. and who's that in that bottom panel? Supergirl. Oh, you get Supergirl, too. So that... That I, I, you know, a lot of people I know love end pages because it kind of wraps, uh, you know, wraps the whole story up, and it always it has to go somewhere and leads yeah. to the next issue. So end pages are fun to collect. I like them uh, as well. And you got the Doom Patrol, who's, uh, I think they're they're doing a second season of Doom Patrol, right? Yeah, I, the first I, mean, one. I thought they already did a second one. That was already done. Second one. I I'm pretty sure, but I didn't watch it. But, uh, hey, here is your 10B artwork. Oh, my God. Okay, for all you Captain America fans out there, here it is. Where? This, this oh, is three, You know, hey, they've done three seasons, Josh Flanders says. So that, there you really? go. Really? Wow. Yeah. I stopped at one. But here, tell us about this great Steve Epting page. Yeah, here it is. This is from page one, number six, of the first full appearance of Winter Soldier and there he is. So, beside, and I just looked through a graphic novel, the, the first issues, 
And besides stuffing her in the trunk, these are the first panel appearances of the Winter Soldier. Wow. Yeah. So that's why I have a good number on it. Uh, this is page one from his first full appearance with his first uh, first panel appearances. That's Nomad uh, that's on right there. That uh, What's his face? What's his name? When he wasn't Steve Rogers, I forgot. But yeah yeah so nice yeah it's the first full appearance all right so oh oh yeah yeah i'm so pretty i'm so pretty uh i float like a butterfly i sell like a i don't know what do i sell like i need a line for that you need a line Thank you for making that outtake into a meme. I love it. It was too good. I, I you know, it made me laugh. And you know who's in the trunk? Sharon. Oh no. It is Anthony. My goodness. That's Sharon Carter. That's Sharon oh, Carter really? in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, thank goodness for once. I didn't say Sharon was in the trunk. Yeah, you made that joke about go get the lotion in the. I was just connecting the dots. Why don't you make a lotion in the basket cake? And she's like, no, I don't like that. Joke. No, no. That's really funny. I kept my mouth shut this week. You had to bring that up again. All right, Mike. Over right, to you for round one From the first appearance of Winter Soldier. Yes, indeed. All right, Mr. Berkey. From the Ramita Mansion, here is your 10 AR. All right, check this out. Bill saying Kevich Moon Knight. Am I correct in saying Moon Knight? Is in yeah, all but the first panel. Very nice panel. Moon Knight in six of the seven biggest panels from 1981. Moon Knight issue eight, page 12. Beautiful page. Bill Sakevich pencils, Frank Giacoy inks from the story titled Night of the Wolves. This great page features Moon Knight in six panels with Bert with Bertrand Crawley as they battle their way across Chicago through the sewers to save Marlene and stop the thugs who dumped a hallucinogen in the Chicago water supply. 41 years old. Great Bill Sienkiewicz, Moon Knight page early on in his Moon Knight career. So really cool. Gotta love that spread as he sees the city and the, the harbor being destroyed. Gotta love that cape. Ooh, la, yeah, la. That's a nice page. A well, great page, do, folks. So that's the first the one. one. Second one for you Art Adams fans. The new Fantastic Four. I love the first panel. Remember the cover to fan 1961 cover to Fantastic Four number one? That same monster grabs the scroll spaceship and dumps the scrolls on the ground. As a nice spread of Mole Man holding him hostage. And then we got our four heroes at the bottom. Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and Ghost Rider walking through the caverns, the caves, getting ready to meet them. Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah. you've, got a, you've got a claim on 10B yeah, with time payment. payment. Yeah, tell to, Jimbo time payments are fine. We'll talk that's about good. it. That's good. And then good. also, uh, so that's, that's a claim. And then uh, Cumberbatch was offering you $4,000 on the Bill Sienkiewicz Moon Knight page. Uh, Cumberbatch. I'll tell you about Cumberbatch. If we can do 42, I'll do that. So let me know if you want that for 42. I thought that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I wanted to uh, thank Jimbo Jones for that pickup. We That's a great page. Mike, I haven't even, you know, I don't remember it. Is that something new that you got or something you found? I don't remember nope, ever seeing I, it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Nope. I, I just got it new. Oh, cool. All right, so you've countered Cumberbatch on the 10A at $4,200. Yep, $4,200 I'll do on the great Moon Knight page with Moon Knight throughout the entire page. Oh, and I got to get to there. <laughs> Highlighting all the wrong ones. The thing's moving too fast. Cumberbatch has all agreed right. to pick up that page at $4,200. Thank you, Cumberbatch. Yay. Out of both, guys. Thanks. Great round, Mike. Wow. Yeah, well, those were two. Uh, I didn't want to have to go into overtime to get a sale, folks. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, those, those are two great pages. So going to good homes, too. Thank you. Every single page is, is new, folks. Every Like Anthony, my stuff, every single page is new. 
Uh, never Nothing been uh, off the butts. <laughs> Curated the butts. All right. Well, uh, well, Mike's score will update in a moment. He's at 11,007. There it is. Look at that. All right. So now we can move on to the recap. And we've got a lot to recap tonight, don't we? Didn't guys? just break up the no-hitter. I hit two grand slams there, Marcus. Thanks. <laughs> That's right. Two grand slams. And there break were there the no anybody on base in, in their grand slams. Break up the no-hitter with two grand slams. Now we yeah, know that, that nobody's going to leave. Last round sales is, not, is a home run. That's for sure. Nobody's yeah. leaving tonight. But, you know, if by chance you didn't know their email addresses, there they are on screen right there, for Mr. Berkey's and Mr. Snyder's, if you – had to go for some reason you don't have to go he's just giving you our addresses that's right that's right but you know i think everybody's bought from from them before but there's the uh there's the information you need send them with the uh, list of art you bought and your mailing address and of course uh but hang around for the recap it's the ragnarok recap it's the time everybody loves to hang out and watch right i can't find the meme oh there it is here let's let's get us primed and ready because we've got a lot of work to do T thank Gleason you. loves thank you, T. <laughs> T I loves it when you don't have to give people a hint to leave, just tell them here's our addresses. We're starting the recap. <laughs> All right. But he doesn't listen, but he doesn't listen, T. He doesn't. You should just tell Maureen to mute my mic when that gets shown, and then you say whatever you want. At the then... beginning of the show, why don't you say if you just have to go, we won't if you just have start to the go. show, but if you have to go, here's their address. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Now right. you can't leave. <laughs> Best line of, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, my God. What was that movie? Now you can't leave. Hey, can Anthony, just so you know, me. Jeff is still offering you the $800 on that Adam Hughes. Are you talking oh, about 850 That's a good deal. All right. So Anthony's going back at 850 on that 4B artwork. What uh, you want, uh, Jeff? So, okay, uh, so that's right. out there. We'll get to that in the recap if it doesn't. Bronx really Tale, cool. yeah, that's right. Bronx now Tale. you can't leave. That was great. I have a Death Star wand. Death oh. Star wand. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've uh, I've gathered myself. I'm ready to go. Anthony, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And the Anthony's comic book art accepts PayPal for all your spending needs. Remember yep. that. That is true. And Never again, man accepts Zell and checks. And, and other forms. I'll take a check. I got a wallet full of checks. All right. Let's and everybody's go. getting a free portfolio from Anthony. Just remember yeah, that. Yeah, I always send out a free portfolio. 11 by 17, if it fits, or 13 by 19 on the oversight. Yes. Keep people safe on shipping. Too. The big trend in portfolios is 13 by 19. It is. Well, that's because yeah, the, right. the oversized DC stuff doesn't fit really well in the uh, those 11 by 17s. 13 by 19 is much better. Sell it, Sharon. All right, let's get this thing started here. Anthony going all the way to the top to his 1A artwork. 30 seconds per piece per in the recap here. So here you go, Anthony. Yeah. And Sharon. You want Mark Bagley, Catwoman. It's a beautiful portrait. Wonderful sketch. And it's signed by the Mark Bagley 350, right? Or wait a minute. What's your best oh, price, price, Sharon? What's my best price? 300. Three oh three hundred, and she looks determined. Like I'm gonna get that three hundred. That jewel, that jewel. Meow. I'm gonna get that that <laughs> feline. Oh, three hun. So three hundred dollars is your best price, Sharon. Uh, Go for it, Sharon. I'm looking at two seventy five. Ten a. Brad, I saw Brad's uh, claim. I was just waiting for. We're going two seventy five though. Is the uh, yeah two seventy five? All right, so two seventy five <laughs> is Sharon and Anthony's best Look price on the one A. Brad oh, has that offered. Great on your wall. Look at that. Wanted to highlight Brad's offer of thirty five hundred dollars on the John Byrne Carl Kessel page. Anthony, you were at forty two fifty, and Brad is offering you thirty five hundred dollars. Ah, let's. Can we split the difference, Brad? Split the difference. Split the difference. And what are you what are you gonna do? Some math. <laughs> well, uh, 3750. 3750. I'll do it. 3750 and 850 on the uh Adam Hughes. On the Adam Hughes. So you're at 3750 on your 10A back to Brad. All right, Brad has agreed to uh to that as a price. All right, thank you very much, Brad. Very Appreciate nice pickup on that end page, Brad. Yeah, hey. I, I love end pages like that, and it's so yeah. clean, really good. 
37.50. Oh, got some catching up to do. All right. So uh, the artwork on the screen right now is 275. Oh, let's That's do 250. Cool. Let's go for a sellout. All right. And remember, if I <laughs> a do a sellout, do, yeah. I'll do a thousand dollars, thousand dollars, and then do a drawing for it. Oh, Gift Anthony, one of these days that's going to come true. All yeah, right, so 250 is Anthony's is. best price on his 1A. I've one done it before. Gold. I can do it again. You could. You could. I agree. So next up, Jeffrey 2A. Boyd, where you... are you at 850? How about the... eight and a quarter? <laughs> All right, let's talk about this one on screen, the Tusca. The Tusca. Okay, the Tusca. Uh, I thought this would go quick in the uh, original uh, offering. Hmm. Hmm. With the note, personalized note, that's so cool. What's your best price, Anthony? For this wonderful Captain America. He's thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, this should have gone at 500. I, I mean, I'd mark this like 650 or so. Uh, uh, 450. Nah, I can't do three and a quarter. Uh, 4.50. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Ask again, Bill. Come on. Ask Anthony, again. What is your best price on this, Tuscan? Ask again. All right. 400. That's it. <laughs> 400. Off, ladies Come on. I'm all sugared off. out from that pie cake-in. Wild Anthony has dropped it 20% to $400. And uh, you just got a 375 offer from uh, your friends at 4C. Oh, my friends. My friends, he's going to be helping me out at New York Comic Con, right? Oh, right, boy. Ken? Right, Ken? So 400 for you. 400. 400 for the big. That's amazing. Big uh, lump of love, Ken. Look Carson. At that. All right. So uh, 375 is not accepted from 4C. I want 400 we're, from the we're Ken. We're sticking at 400 on this yeah. Tuska Cap and Bucky artwork by Tuska. I am. <laughs> okay, so we got four hundred on the uh, the that from the Ken of the Carson. Okay, thank you very much, Ken. Oh, just ahead of Peter Rowe, by the way. You, Peter, you tried. And I don't know why I'm hearing myself, uh, but I am. Uh, well, not now. Okay, I'm not sure what was going on there. So, uh, all right, thank you uh, for that pickup, Mr. Carson, and thank you for letting me interview Brian Bolland last weekend Yay. too. It's not all Bolland. right, Bolland. It's Bolland. It's Bolland. Rhymes with Holland, sir. Bolland rhymes with Holland. That's good to know. He doesn't work in Gauche very much. No. Uh, Jeff, the Superman did sell at uh, for $37.50, actually. So, next up, Charlie Adlard. This is your 2B artwork. You were at $500, Anthony. Do the do the zombie, Sharon. Come on. Da -da -da -da. Oh, do, uh, do Michael Jackson. Oh, oh Thriller. thriller. <laughs> oh, boy. Aww. He's so cute. <laughs> what is your They're best price moves. on this artwork, though? Well, how much you want to sell this for? Dun, 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 dun. What? Oh, my <laughs> God. You should do that for a Halloween show. Do the, do the whole... I can do the whole dance. Do the whole dance. Okay. All right. So we got the zombie. We got... Uh, you know, got I like beautiful things in my life, like the Sharona. So this ugly guy can go for 400 I think that's a lady. Uh, ugly lady. Oh, wait a minute. It's me on a bad day. He's from Florida. Hey, Anthony. And this, oh, it's it, Sharon. It might be Zombie Billigan. I think it's Sharon. No, Zombie it's not. <laughs> it is not. It does he's look got, like the hedge in the back of my yard. He's got though. your arms. Anthony, it totally looks Thanks, like Anthony. Me. I got my hair. Uh, all right, so $400, best He's got your hair. I mean, you know, come on. Zombie Billigan. I come on, like 400 That's cheap. Uh, $400 right, so on your 2B. Next Rude. up, the Steve Barbara Rude, Gordon. Barbara Gordon color piece. from Steve Rude color piece. Oh, it's really cool how he uh, used his uh, light palette in there, the, the color palette, whatever. Just so cool. Okay, Yay. Jeffrey Moy from Star Trek The Experience. Uh, next generation, though. I like, I'm an original guy. All right, eight and a quarter on the... Uh, Yes, that has been claimed. Thank you very much, Jeff. Deuce. Thank did, you, Jeff. Did the clock start on this one yet? I don't think it did, but it's been on the screen for at least 40 seconds now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, that's all right. All right. I love I love the uh, Oracle in the dark. Looks uh, like there's a gun in Steve the Rude. there. Oh, oh, my goodness, there is. Sharon noticed it. She's being threatened by a gun. <laughs> there it is. And and then she's looking What's your best price on this one, Anthony? I don't know. What do you want to pay, Bill? What do I want to pay? <laughs> What do you want to pay? 
Uh, no, it's not off the me. bill. Come on, make me an offer. Off the bill. Bill off the bill. No. Uh, six fifty. Six and a quarter. I think you should go six. Six. Okay. Oh my God. 2015 full color realized by the Steve Rude of Oracle in the dark being threatened by the gun. All right. $600 on Anthony's 3A artwork. Next up, right. 3B. Oh, I love this one. I like this one so much. It's little Sharon is Frank Miller, <laughs> Dark Knight Robin. Oh. Yay. That's What's great. your best price, Anthony? Beautiful art. So. Uh, Eight, He's thinking. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. To me, on the on the Macomb. That watercolor. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's the Schroeder. She's Look. got her handmade slingshot <laughs> and her dancer legs. Come on. All right. All right. So uh, eight hundred. Best price on that one. Yeah. Well. Okay. Seven fifty then. <laughs> God. <laughs> Quit asking right. me. I'm trying. All right, seven fifty on this three B art. Who's right money here. every time you ask? Next up, four A. What do we got for four A? Which the Mike is back, Captain America. Ah, uh, this is the Zach. Copic. Really cool gray tone. Coptic, yeah, the Coptic markers. What I don't do we think got? There's, a, there's not a T in it though. I think it's Copic. Yeah, it's Copic. Copic. You keep, I don't know why you keep saying, saying Coptic. You said Copt. Coptic. Well, it's done in liquid guar. Gosh. Yeah, what? Coptic is another uh, vibrant Coptic. <laughs> another, another Muppet. Okay, so what's your best price on this one, Anthony? It's been up there for thirty seconds, and you've, you, all we've talked about are the markers. All right. Seven <laughs> fifty. Seven and a quarter. What's your best price, Anthony? Oh, what's your best price, Anthony? Stop it. What's your best Six price? Six seventy-five. <laughs> He goes down. All right. I like that better. 675 is Anthony's best price on his Mike Zach. 4A Captain America bust. All right. 675. Good price. So Jeff uh, picked up for his friend at uh, Hughes. 4B. So next up, 5A. And uh, oh, Gabe Carino has claimed the uh, the Zach at 675. And that's, oh, that's a good pickup, Gabe. Gabe. My friend oh, Gabe. Yay. All right. Put that away. That's all. And then put this one away. It's all. Hooray. Yeah, we're selling stuff. Here, put this one away. And, yep, that. piece just went to uh, Gabe, Justin. Thank you for the offer, though. All right, next up, 5A. This is the uh, Angel Medina Bob Almond uh, piece. $1,500. What All right, let's do twelve fifty on this one. Get it moving. Finding a home for Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Twelve fifty. Angel Medina. Come on, that was... Guardians of the Galaxy splashes sell for more than that. And there, there, there. This is really cool. Power play. Yeah. Jeffrey Moy, I'll combo that up at $750 for you. Well, you were at $750 on it, on the McCone. Oh, uh, was I? You oh, were. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I'm at, all right. $700? All right, let's just do it. $700. All right, let me highlight that so we can show that one off. Jeff Moy has claimed 3B at $700. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yay. Nice Thank pick you up so there. Much. So uh, just to be sure, what is your best price on the artwork on the screen, Anthony? Uh, you were, you uh, last said 1250 1250 How about uh, um, 1100 Tonight only. Tonight only. Hughes at 825 and then... Don't worry, I'm writing them down for you, sir. Okay, so uh, $1,100 is Anthony's best price on the 5A Angel Medina Warlock in the Infinity Watch page. Next up, this great, great, great Chris Pacello, Alve, Doctor Strange page. Right? Three, two, one. What's your, What's your best price, price Anthony? Anthony? Uh, gosh, it's so good. I like it so much. At... All right, guys, I'm throwing it out there for tonight only. Before it 12. hits the website at 12 50. Yes. Hooray. Yay. We're on the same page. <laughs> 12 50. 12 50. Incredible page. I love how the, the paneling. Three, two, one. Arrgh! Yeah. Nope. I agree. It's a very nicely laid out page. Very uh, nice inks on there by Mr. Bay. And who doesn't yep. like Chris's pencils? All right, so twelve fifty is Anthony's best price on his five B, Doctor Strange. Next up, six A, the Venom Separation Anxiety. 
Yeah. I had separation anxiety the last 10 days when I didn't get to hang out with these three fine people. Yeah. Aww. Aww. All right. But let's talk about this art, Anthony. <laughs> let's not talk about this art, Anthony. Let's talk about you know, this art. This is Christian Bale Batman. Anthony, we need your best price, Anthony. What's your best price? <laughs> Hey, that's my spot at New York Comic Con. Come visit me there. Well, I'll be buying, buying, buying. Yay. Yay. So come and I'll give you some money to go spend with all my competition. I love doing that. Well, tell us about uh, your best price on this one. 90s, 90s Venom art, guys. 95. Uh, to 15 hun tonight. 15 hun. All right. 15 hun is the best price that Anthony's got on this 6A artwork. By Ron Randall and Sam De La Rosa. So uh, there you have it, everybody. 15 hun. All right, so next up. All right, we got the Venom and we got the Carnage. No matter what Mr. Berkey says. Oh, my God. Look at that. What a classic, classic, uh, you know, Venom face. I mean, uh, Carnage face. I mean, I, why do I have this going on? Okay. <laughs> Don't touch the mouth. Very cool. Five What's the inker's name again? What? What's the inker's name? On this one? Yeah. Uh, Seabird and Stanisi. <laughs> Correct. I thought it was Thybird, but uh, yeah, yeah, like Marcus just said. So yeah, uh, for, I Anthony, love that face. You, All you right, so get, we got a we got a, a, a Carnage and a Venom ninety wait, it, pages. They you know, before we flown. before we address Swimmers Girls offer, can you tell me what your best price on this uh uh seventeen fifty? Nice. All right, thigh bird page seventeen fifty is Anthony's best price on his six and it's uh, not done in gouge. So you you did get an offer on the Doctor Strange. You were at twelve fifty, and Swimmers Girl has offered you a uh, one thousand. I uh, I just don't want to go that low right now, huh? Do uh, 12 even. 12 even. All right. So you're going down from 1250 to 1200 and the well, 5B. Down to from 1500. So. Well, I'm just saying from where you're at now. I'm, yeah. you know, I always reference that. I don't reference where you are. 12 even. All right. 12 even. And 1750 on the artwork on the screen. So let's keep this thing moving. Next up, 7A. All right. We got the double. The double. J. Scott Campbell, cover prelims, uh, with very girl intensive. You love him for his girls, and what I can do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it on this one at sixteen hundred. Wow, sixteen. Just I, I love them. They're that is a good price. So beautifully drawn. Love it. Hmm. 1150. I was going to say, so Swimmer's Girl did counter at 1100, and you're countering back at 11. 1150. We're negotiating. Okay, yeah. so 1150 back to Swimmer's Girl, and uh, she's going to pass unless you can do 1100. So just to highlight that so you can see it, Anthony. And uh, you're sticking at 1600 on the J. Scott Campbell pair of X Men cover prelims. Oh, you want to do 15, Bill? 15? I think you should do 15. Okay. 15 on the, on the J. Scott Campbell's. 15. That's cool. 750 per. That's good. 1150 Swimmers Girl. Yay. Okay. Is that, that's, uh, that's that, yes, that is an acceptance from Swimmers Girl at 1150 for your 5B artwork. Yay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Swimmers Girl. That is a very nice piece. Yep. Wonderful. All right, Love fantastic. It. Again, Anthony's at fifteen hundred on the J. Scott Campbell pair of cover plea limbs. So uh, let's see, seven B was sold. Next up is eight A, the Herb Trimpy Silver Surfer. Eighteen hundred. Ask me again. Ask. Oh, yeah, what is it? Are you sure eighteen hundred is your best price, Anthony? <laughs> What's seven, your best price, Anthony? Seventeen seventy-five. What's your best price, Anthony? Seventeen fifty. Oh, that was a good <laughs> wow. Who would have known? This is the secret to uh, getting Anthony to drop his prices. Hey, just get her to ask me, and uh, you know I'm in. What's your best price, Anthony? No. Oh. 
I don't think he wants to go any lower than seventeen fifty. So, or or do you, Anthony? Is seventeen fifty your best price? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. a yeah? Okay, yeah. seventeen fifty. Sixteen. Ah. Sixteen even. I sixteen just... even. Yeah. All right, sixteen Get it even. While is... you can. Whoa. All right. It's going so, back up. It... This is what you what happens to Anthony when he eats uh, pecan pie cake. Oh my God, I'm so sugared up right now; it's ridiculous. All right, so we've got uh, six pieces here in the next slot, though. This is uh, the six consecutive strips. I love these dailies. Go get me. Yeah, I mean, I thought these were fast movers. Here, well, you've got them priced at three thousand dollars. Okay. All right. And yep, twenty eight hundred. These are these are curated to butts, and are fast movers from the website. I like to give you know examples of stuff that I pick up that I will, will you know offer it here first. Here first. Twenty seven fifty. Twenty seven fifty. It's tight on this. This is this is very desirable. A whole week. That's not that's not easy to get come by, right? Uh no. Twenty seven fifty. Whole week, uh, you know, and it's against a really well-known villain the, of the saber tooth. All right, so twenty-seven fifty is Anthony's best price on his eight B artwork. We've got uh, three more pieces to look at from Anthony. So what do we got next here? We've got your nine A artwork, the Don Kramer Flash Companion cover. You were at thirty-five hundred dollars on. Uh, you this know, one. if you came up to me in person and offered me three grand, I guess I'd do it. So. Tonight. Let's do it. Three thousand. Three thousand. for the Don ah. Kramer. That's uh, seven hundred and fifty dollars per flash on that one, I believe. Oh, doing some math. Yeah, yeah. I'm Professor Billiken. Yes, I've got my thinking cap on tonight. So uh three three thousand best I'm price just, on this one. Uh, let's go back to that zombie. I just I'm I'm thinking it's, it's, it's well, yeah. I that's just kind of spooky, isn't it? I should have yeah, saved that. You should have saved it for a Halloween episode, but yeah. it's out it's out in the wild now. So all right, this piece is uh, uh three, well I just picked up like twenty pieces of, of uh, Walking Dead art, so I wanted to highlight it, something on the show. Okay. All right. Three thousand, right. best price on nine eight. I mean, right. you know, if you don't have a buyer out there at that, that's it. No, that's it. Okay, holding that's strong at three thousand. So that next is up is the piece. Frank Quitely, Quitely, Quitely nine B. Quitely doing thirty two fifty, but that's about it for a published cover by the Quitely. Look at that. Yeah. All pencil. Nice. I don't know it was asked earlier. All so pencil, published that. cover. Yep. Thirty-two fifty. Wow, pretty neat. Bruce Wayne. And what did you say when I said, "Hey, what do you think I should start this at?" You 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 told me I should start it higher. So a little bit higher, right? yeah. I didn't know. I mean, it's, uh, that's why you know the thing is, it's not a, it's not like it's a DC comic. So I didn't know what it was from. So now we do, and we still don't know what it is. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, you're at thirty-two fifty on it. So it's a fan magazine from uh, France, right? It's like the Wizard. Uh, Wizard of France. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and I, I saw, well, we want, I, I'm going to highlight something just to remind myself. Uh, there's an offer over to Mike. He could probably address it in the chat. We've got one more piece to look at here from Anthony, and that is his final 10B artwork. Yeah. Page one from issue six. First full appearance of Winter Soldier. Oh, there was a cameo, but there it is. Very neat. Wow. You got shot i think he shot nomad and then he wrapped up sharon and put her in the trunk Yikes. well and you're at fifteen thousand on this one Anthony. I, love, I love that i mean it's exquisite look at that detail. yeah the 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 art itself is just amazing oh this sold but what is your best price on this amazing yeah, piece of art by mr epting you got to say something. I know. I got to say something. Your time is out. Go, Anthony. What's your best price, Anthony? I guess the, we're sticking to 15. Oh, What's your best price, Anthony? Uh, I'll do 13.5 to the chat right now. Woo! 
That's amazing. Honey. This is one that's going to go to, you know, a, that's painful for you a whale. Do. Let's put it that way. All right. 13500 is Anthony's best price on the Epting first appearance, right, of uh, a character. First of all, and, Winter Soldier. And Sharon, Sharon in a trunk. And Sharon in the trunk. Yep. Sharon Carter, that is. Yes, Sharon Carter, not our Sharon. All right. Uh, Nick Brucci says we made it to 156 likes, everybody. Come on. We still, we got 162 people still watching this thing. So we can get a few more. We can get a few more. And like, oh, come to, on. Let's try to hit 170 before the show's over. I, I need to break 10,000. I got a bet with the missus. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got a bet. Well, I did want to highlight the fact that Jason Ludwig did take Mike's counter offer in the chat while things were going on. So that was the 2A selling oh, for thanks, $400. Jason. That's yours. The artwork in uh, Mike's hand right there. All right, very nice. Well, you never know, Mike. Or you know, Anthony, you may get another offer throughout uh, things oh, I here. Need to but bring we're 10K. over to Mr. Berkey now. Get some cake. All right, Mike. So we've got some work to do. We're going to go yep. all the way back to your one AR work. Let me get uh, get you into that spot here. Let me scroll over. All right. So we're going to start off with the Andy Lee electric color. Very cool. And this is all painted, folks. We'll do three hundred on it. Eleven by seventeen inches. Very cool electra. Done in that Asian, interesting Asian style, uh, Electra by Andy Lee. 300 bucks, 11 by 17, all painted. Uh, really, really neat, inexpensive piece. So there you go, 300 bucks. All right, that's a nice price on that Andy Lee. And. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to address two things here, uh, you know, just because Marcus did offer Anthony $175 on his Charlie Adlard to get him to $10,000, obviously. And so you can think about that one, Anthony, and you can address it in the chat if you like. That a, is a joke. I know it's a joke, but, but he's offering it. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that that would get you to the $10,000. And, and I still need to break it. If Anthony hadn't eaten the cake, I'd have given him one seventy-five for the cake. Oh man! Oh my Anthony God, said. it's so good. I, hey, I, I just, put it in the microwave hey, and you just got uh, an it offer was from so Rich. Good. Right, you did just get an offer from uh, Rich Donnelly on the Frank Come Quitely. On, Rich. on the Frank Quitely, you uh, you were at where, where were you at on that? Finally, you were at thirty-two fifty, and and Rich is offering you twenty-five hundred. Let's do three grand, Rich. Wow. We we're trying to get you over ten here. And yeah, three we, grand. So Mike's I can pulling for you. Bell. I'm pulling for you. Everybody's pulling for you. I'm sorry. What was hey, that, Mike? Hey, Bill. Yeah, I'll go. Parents biting her lips. Oh, oh no. Did you, did you say two seventy five? Uh, yeah, we'll do two seventy five so we can keep going here. Keep All right. Going. So two seventy five is Mike's best price on the, really uh, nice the one eight. by Andy Lee, folks. Eleven by seventeen inches. Two seventy five. All right, Anthony, how about you handling your offers in the chat for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, he can Rich, just go do them yeah, in the chat, yeah. Yeah, Rich has made you another offer there. So, all right, Mike, so let's talk about this Bow Hampton yeah. Castle of the Bat painting. It's gorgeous. A uh, really nice full painting. I'll do 400 bucks with, with Bruce Wayne as Dr. Frankenstein as he creates a Batman monster from this Elseworlds story. Really cool, uh, written by Jack C. Harris, Elseworlds tale. Beautiful, done on 12 by 17.7 inch uh, thicker artboard. 400 bucks, fully painted page. That's Bruce Wayne, Dr. Bruce Wayne there creating the bat monster at the top. Really nice, 400 bucks. Yeah, that is a pretty cool first panel there. Yeah, the whole spread, that's the monster on the top. Matter of fact, I'll do, matter of fact, I'll do, I'll do uh, 375. All right, so 375. 1994, right. folks, 28 years old. All right, so 375 is Mike's best price on the Bo Hampton, 275 on the Andy yep. Lee. Your two, two A artwork did sell. So now we're going to take a look at this awesome Iron Man uh, recreation to. Uh, I love this piece. Cover. I'll do four and a quarter on it. It's all art, other than the corner box of the Marvel logo, Marvel at the top. It's all art. The Invincible Iron Man, all drawn. Everything, words, everything is all ink. It's just a beautiful, beautiful recreation done absolutely to perfection. Matter of fact, I'll do matter of fact, I'll do 400 bucks. All 
400 bucks on the Iron Man. And this is done back 12 years old, done in 2010. So really, and it is, really it's nice. 11 by 17 as well. 11 by right? 17. Yep. yep. Beautiful piece. 400 bucks. And we All have right. a claim. And uh, Gabe Carino. Nice pickup there, Gabe. Thanks, Getting Gabe. A few nice pieces here in the recap. Awesome. All right. So that 2B has been claimed. Fantastic. All right. So uh, what do we got next here? Oh, the Wally Wood Woodlings. This is really, really nice. This one. Look at that nine images. Uh, I'll do I'll do nine hundred bucks. Uh, you get nine great images and a tenth one that he started right up there. You can sort of see him up there. But beautiful, fully full images. These weren't just doodles. I mean, they're fully full pencils. Uh, Wally Wood done in the early seventies. Really, really nice. Uh, done in the early seventies on nine point two by ten point eight inch Bristol board. This isn't done on paper. It's an actual Bristol board. Uh, realize matter of fact i'll matter of fact i will do 850 on it 850 all wally wood little creatures all fang creatures great great piece including the little girl with her fangs 850 all right 850 is that's not signed though correct i just wanted to make sure it's not signed because it's from a sketchbook got it yeah but it's uh, done on artboard so it's not a sketchbook so he did it as a separate piece so right Okay, so uh, so eight fifty on that one. I, I'm going to highlight this one just because it does probably put Anthony slightly in the lead right now, and it get and it gets him to his ten thousand mark. Uh, Anthony accepted an offer from Rich at twenty eight fifty for the Frank Quitely nine B artwork. So there you go. Congratulations to Rich. And uh, again, we're looking at the Wally Wood three A that Mike's got, and that is at eight fifty. Yeah, I'll go eight hundred bucks. What the heck? Oh. Eight hundred bucks. All right, eight hundred dollars for the three A. Beautiful oh, by yeah. one of the most iconic artists. You know, he did so many greeting cards and all that in the '60s and everything. So cool piece that's similar to like a lot of the images on his funny cards and greeting cards and all the all the cards he did back in the '60s. So very cool. All right, eight hundred dollars for that one. Next up is your three B artwork. A thousand. This one, um, I'll do. I'll, I was gonna say nine hundred. I'll tell you what. I'll do eight seventy five on this one. All right, and, and I did forget to, you know, you actually had a $600. Yeah, I All right, I, I forgot to yeah. mention. You, okay, yeah. so where are you at on this one, Mike? Uh, 875 I'll do on this one. All right, Again, I apologize. 17 pencils and inks uh, and almost virtually edge to edge. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Cover quality piece. That's gorgeous. All right, so I apologize to JJ Collector because they did make an offer earlier and I forgot to show it. All right, so you are at uh, eight seventy five, Mike. Yeah, uh, we'll do eight fifty. We'll do eight fifty. All right. As soon as I get these, they sell on the site. So, but eight fifty for tonight's people. So, uh, all our faithful fans of the show, eight fifty. All right, so eight fifty on the Jamie Big Spider Man Wolverine pinup. Next up, four A, the published cover from Dynamite Entertainment. I love this one. Uh, uh, published cover. Uh, shoot. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just knock the whole 200 off. I'll do a thousand bucks. Published cover to Red Sunny number 24 from 2008. Sexy. Full cover. It was published from the pencils. Beautiful, beautiful piece there. A uh, thousand bucks by Adriano Batista. 14 years old. Really, really nice published cover. So one thousand, Mike. On 1, here, on that one. All right, you yeah. did get an offer from Anand on the uh, yeah. Jamie Biggs. You were at eight fifty, and Anand is offering yeah. you seven hundred. Ah, uh, shoot. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Okay, just to keep these going tonight, I'll lower this to eight hundred bucks for tonight. Eight hundred bucks, Anand. I could put it with all your other stuff. I'm holding for you. Eight hundred. All right, so eight hundred dollars is Mike's counter to and Anand. Bill. Just for the heck of it, I'll do nine seventy five on this. Nine seventy five. All right, Anthony. I don't know if Anthony's answering anybody, but he has gotten a couple. He uh, is. Uh, well, has he? All right. Yeah, Anthony, I have. All right. Well, I didn't see you at, reply to Maki Poo Poo yet on his uh, offer on your five A, which I just highlighted for you. And you just got another offer on your 9A for 2500 So I'm trying to pay attention to see if you're going to reply to those people. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Mike, I just want to clarify you're at 1000 for the artwork on screen. 
I'll do 975. Oh, 975. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, just, uh, yeah, that's the lowest, lowest, lowest. Well, I'd like Nick that to set don't a steal for that one. All right. So uh, here's this Bob Kane. Uh, Bob Kane, I'll go uh, 1200 bucks on it. Pencils and inks and signed twice. So very, very cool for that. 1200 bucks. Beautiful piece done on, uh, let's see where we at. Done on 14 by 11 inch Bristol board. This isn't one of those paper things or anything. Uh, 14 by 11, really nice, perfect frameable piece, folks. And signed twice. Wow. So very, very cool. It is a nice one. And what and best price? What I said, I'll do eleven hundred. All right. Eleven hundred dollars is gonna be Mike's best price on his four B Bob King. Yeah. All right, and uh, I can highlight that Anthony did accept the offer from Maki Poo Poo, and that was on Anthony's five A at a thousand. That's that's that uh war Angel line, Medina. Right? Yeah. yeah, the Angel Medina uh, Warlock, yep. And 2500 on the strips? Are you okay. saying you were accepting that as well? No, I'm confirming that's what it was. Um, I have to kind of, yeah, Giant Size Comics offered you, uh, no, the 9A oh, okay. was your uh, Don Kramer. Oh, okay. You were at 3000 and they were offering you $2,500. Uh, Twenty-seven fifty. All right. So uh, you accepted Maki's and you've countered uh, the other three uh, offer, twenty-five hundred dollar offer, twenty-seven fifty. Thank you. Okay, Mike. Sorry about that. I appreciate you rolling with me. So uh, next up is your five A artwork, the Paulo Rivera beauty. Yeah, the, uh, the Rivera. Uh, let's see, fifteen hundred. I'll do thirteen hundred on it. Really nice splash page, the amazing 641. Doctor Strange, Tony Stark, and Mr. Fantastic. Very cool. The, the splash to amazing 641. What I say on that, Bill? How much? You said 1300. I'll do 12 on it. I'll do 12 on it. Yeah, it's because uh, you don't, you know, nowadays, well, his father's been inking him mostly on separate boards. So getting, uh, getting his own inks on his own pencil, right. which is pencils. Pencils nice. and inks on the board. All right. So Mike is at uh, $1,200 for his right. five. And how much was I on the Bob Kane bill? You were at $1,100 on the Bob Kane, Mike. You know, for tonight only, I'll do a grand. So pencils, right. ink, signed twice on board. So, that's so Mike's that. dropping his 4B to 1,000, and the 5A is at $1,200. Right. All right. Very nice. So uh, next up is your 5B artwork. I do know who Nightwing is, everybody. I don't know who Flamebird is. Right. Really nice. Um, I'll do uh, 1350 on it. Full splash with some really cool pencil on the back. 1978. We're talking 44 years old. As the Batman and Robin of Kandor uh, uh, are in their are in their version of the Batcave, as the, the Phantom Zone fiends come to put the kibosh on them. Holy, this was a full story, and they're on the cover of the magazine. So, very very cool. I'll, I'll do thirteen hundred before the end. Land graphing by Romeo Tangal, thirteen hundred. Really cool piece. All right, thirteen hundred dollars on this very nice title page. From Superman Family 190 from 1978. Wow, Whoa. Looks very, very, looks very Mike Growlish, Neil Adams ish. All right. So next up, 6A, the really great Tom uh, Yates Swamp this Thing. This one page. is nice. Best battle page in the book, folks. Uh, I'll go to 1350. Best battle page. Look at the published piece, too, on the bottom right. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that first panel. Look at that second panel third panel look at the fourth panel and then oh that awesome spread at the bottom as he throws them all around doesn't get much better than that folks for swamp thing 40 years old that's a the great tom yates what's your best price on this one i said 13 you know what for tonight only i'll do 1250 1250 
All right. So, yeah, hey, question to you both, just because I see the question here, and it's not something that we ever address during the show at all. But uh, Leo was curious what the average shipping usually runs. And I guess maybe for both of you, you can say what your domestic versus international averages typically are. Mike, under th up to a thousand, I'm 25 bucks on the domestic. And oh, under 500 is 20. Uh, then I do 25 up to a thousand. So, okay. And I do 15 domestic with the portfolio, so I barely break even on those. Then international, usually it's got to be about double double that. Well, oh man, that. international rates have gone kind of nutty lately. Yeah. yeah. Normally I charge 75 bucks for overseas. FedEx, FedEx Express overseas. Yep. That makes sense. All right. So uh, just so I'm clear, you were at 1250 on the Tom Yates, though. 1250 on the, on the awesome Swamp Thing page. All right, fantastic. So next Just up, so you is know, I got this from a collector, and uh, I know he bought it from another dealer site for fifteen hundred bucks last year. So, if that means anything, so so it's a lot less than it sold for. Okay, large art. This is gorgeous. Ah, uh, uh, I'll do twelve fifty on this one. Beautiful published painting by the great Joe Chiotto from the. From the uh, Daredevil Black Widow graphic novel, page 39. Wow. Daredevil Black Widow Avatar graphic novel, page 39. Beautiful, large, fully painted, fully painted page. Uh, what did I say on that one, Bill? Uh, you know, I didn't write it down, Mike. I hate to tell 13. you that. Uh, I'll do 12, yeah, so I'll do 1250. So yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I mean, look at that up close. Let me get it up close. I mean, wow. That is a really nice painting. I love Chiodo's work. I mean, he's yeah. he's a cool guy. I host his website. He's, and he's it's really cool that it's published, too. So, matter of fact, I'll do 1200 before the end. 1200 All Keep right. So you're, rolling. you're going to $1,200 for your 6D yeah, artwork. Heck? All right. Very good. Very good. So, 1200 on 6B. And so, next up is 7A. 7A uh, on this one. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. We have to change that. I'll do 1500 bucks from Bob Layton, Iron Man the End, the prototype armor pinup done on marble, cover stock board, pencils and inks, Bob Layton. Really nice. 1500 bucks. All right. Or so make me an offer. What the heck? <laughs> A uh, beautiful, beautiful pinup by the great Bob Layton of his most famous character, Iron Man. For the book, which came out in January 2009. That is a very nice piece from... Uh, what did I say on that, Bill? You said $1,500, Mike. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Just because of the end of the show, I'll do $1,300 before the end of the show. All right, thirteen hundred dollars, and uh, I can tell you because I'm kind of looking at the score in a very tiny screen that, that Anthony is ahead by one thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars. So yeah. I just make that very clear. So because uh, everybody likes to know. So next up is your yeah, seven... the first time in eighty-four episodes you mentioned that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I it's the first time I can actually read it. It's eighty-six. It's... Hey, I like I like that we're able to do that in in real time. You should have a running tally somewhere. Cat Tack, I'm holding a piece of art for you. Contact me. Let's see what do we got here. Robert is off has an offer for Mike. Uh, he says his buddy is offering you 2K for the Chiodo and the Swamp thing. Uh, and what were you, but, but for those? Yeah, two, my price are way higher than that. Yeah, you were at 2450 for the pair where you're yeah, at. Yeah, that's lowered, Lord. Yeah. Uh, Robert, I can do twenty three hundred. If he's the same guy, I'm holding the other stuff for. As long as we he pays off, I'll do twenty three hundred for the pair. Okay, because you were at twenty four fifty for the pair, so you're countering the Robert on the pair at. Yeah. at uh, well, I had three thousand on the pair. So oh, yeah. I know, I know. I'm just from where you're at. You're you're right, right, right. All right, so, so 2, very good. Twenty three hundred, I'll do for the pair, Robert. Okay, so next up is the Mike Allred. Man, I love this page. What a great page! A great image of all of them. Uh, I'll do uh, 1650. A uh, beautiful, beautiful page from 1997. This is 25 years old. Beautiful. Superman, Man, Man, Hullabaloo. A uh, beautiful page. 
with them throughout the entire page. Matter of fact, you know what? I'll do 1500 before the end of the show. So there you go. 1500. Yeah. I love it when Allred does, uh, you know, things in the DC or Marvel. Yes. Universe. I love his ecstatics work. Crossover with them and D DC and them. So really nice. Yep. All right. So uh, $1,500. And is sign up about 1500 before the end. Yep. Very good. So 1500 on Mike 7B. Next up, the George Perez Wonder Woman pinup. You had priced at $2,000. Uh, I'll do uh, 1800 Beautiful, beautiful. This is almost like cover, cover detail. Gorgeous. By, now, this is this is one of the ones he did uh, recently. This is from 2007. 15 years old. Signed and dated at the bottom on 11 by 17 inch DC board. How about that? Uh, real nice. Uh, what I say on that, Bill? I, you know, I was not writing it down because I was reading the chat trying You're to make sure. You're supposed to be writing stuff down, Bill. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I dropped the ball, Mark. Yeah, we're looking at the chats. You're supposed to be writing stuff down. Okay. Anyway, I had 1800 on it, but I'll do 1750. So 1750. All right, I thought you had said eighteen, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to say know, something and have it be good. wrong. That's the problem. Seventeen fifty, Jill. I came down for you. Uh, all right, so uh, so you're at seventeen fifty uh, on the George Press, and it is it is beautiful. I mean, oh, that's, that's a uh, gorgeous one. Really Not nice. On DC piece. cover stock board, eleven by seventeen inch DC Bristol board, seventeen fifty. All right, 1750 on uh, the 8A George Perez. Next up, the uh, artwork on the screen from The Dreaming special. That's the... Yeah, uh, we do time payments, too, so... Title page on that one. Oh, this one I got in a trade deal. God, the pages have sold high. You know what? I'll come down to two grand on this one, just to keep things rolling. Scott Hampton, Brian After the Dreaming special, number one. This was a Sandman anthology uh, story. Really nice. Kane, Abel, and Gregory... The gargoyle on it. Very, very cool. This is from 1998. Also 24 years old. I got this from a collector in a deal uh, not long ago, so I don't know. But really, really nice piece from the story Trial and Error. Very nice title page. I love title pages. So two thousand, Mike. Best price on this one. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, All right. Well, no, I'll do eighteen hundred because I want to keep things rolling. So. All right, eighteen hundred dollars on the eight B from Mike. We've got two more pieces to look at, yep. uh, both from round nine, since both your round tens did sell. So nine A is the next one. Oh, what a piece! Bernie writes in large art pencil and inks from the first issue, with the two monsters of the story. Uh, I'll do uh, twenty six hundred. Really, really nice from 1991. This is 31 years old. Punisher POV issue number one. Sorry. Okay, there we go. I'm just scrolling down. Really nice piece. Man, it's hard to find rights and stuff nowadays. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, by the great Bernie Wrightson. Uh, and it's 11 by 17, right? I mean, I know no, it's no, it's bigger. Oh, it is bigger. It's I, I, 13 I, by that's 19. Why, that's why I was uh, asking. I was thinking it should have been. Oh, this is the oversized ones. Uh, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where's my ruler? The board is 13 by 19. So, uh, and that's okay. drawn inside. Matter of fact, I'll do 2400 before the end of the show. All right, 2400 on your 9A rights and Punisher POV. Yep. All right, we got one more artwork to look at. That was that awesome Daredevil by Rich Buckler, Frank Giacoya from Daredevil 101. Uh, God, that's a great page from 1973. Uh, I'll do uh, 2,800 on it. Beautiful, beautiful page, almost 50 years old. Rich Buckler, Frank Giacoya, Daredevil in every panel, every panel as he pulls off the mask in the middle and he's still wearing his costume throughout the whole piece. So really, really nice. Uh, matter of fact, I'll do 2750. So that, that, that's, that's it on that one. All right. The silver age stuff is great. And there's even some pencils on the back you get with it. It's sort of cool. All right. So 2750 best price on the daredevil. Uh, yeah, tw uh, I'll do 27. 
27 even. Now, you did get an offer from Jill Loudon on the uh, George Perez. You, you had gone to 1750. She is offering you $1,600 for that piece. I'll tell you what, if we could do 1650, I'll do 1650 on that. All right, so uh, 1650, and that was again on your 8A George Perez Wonder Woman. Right. And it looks like Anthony has decided to take the offer from Giant Size. If I'm not mistaken, is that right, Anthony? I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we and he confirmed it. Okay, right there. So we got a confirmed, and that was on uh, where was that? That was your. I'm looking at the wrong the flash, sheet here. The Don Kramer flash cover. Correct. Correct. The uh, 9A. Yep. The 9A selling for $2,500 to Giant Size Comics. Then Ilya, I told I count, I told him 25 on the strips. So you went to twenty five hundred on your eight B as well. Yeah. All right. Very good. And Mikhail told me that uh, Allred is working on a Superman book right now too. So uh, that score isn't completely accurate because I, you know, Anthony did just have the other sale there. And uh, let's see. I wanted to make sure. Yeah, twenty seven hundred dollars was Mike's best price on that last piece that we were talking about. The nine B. Which one? Okay. The the 9B. And, yeah, uh, and I'm sorry. Uh, on that, Jill. And you're at $1,650 on the George Perez uh, to Jill's $1,600 offer. All right. Anthony, you're in the lead right now, sir. I think yes. that, uh, you know, that's... Uh, unless I we... knew we were going to have a good show. I, I was going to tell you. Well, all uh, the work was really... We yeah, I knew it was solid. I knew we were going to have a good show tonight. The, you know, the art was too good. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff went for big money uh, before, but, you know, we are here in these price points that uh, people live at, you know. Well, you're wheeling and dealing. Yeah, so. So, uh, so that is the current score, and that is accurate right now, the 16175 for Anthony. And uh, Mike's uh, at the, the uh, 12500 all right, so uh, if we you always want to be Bill, which says he always wants to be around 30, so let's see if we can get him over that hump. Yeah, yeah, that's my goal every night. That we zombie do Bill again, $300. All right, and Bill, the, uh, yeah, uh, Jill Loudon. Hey, Bill. Jill Loudon picked up the uh, Perez for 1650. Th you know, thank you, Jill. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a great piece, you know, it really, really is nice. I mean. Is that your wedding? We, we both know that you know we we both love George Perez's work, so uh, Jill knows a, a solid finished piece like that when she sees it. So congratulations! Yeah, great hair. Hey, what? hey, Robert, if your guy goes twenty one hundred, I'll do twenty one hundred for those two other pieces. Okay, so let me uh, mark so that, that one off. For that, the that was the eight. and the swamp thing. Correct. So, uh, but Jill has gotten the eight A at sixteen fifty. Florida zombie. I'll do twenty one hundred. Your Robert, let me know. So, uh, well, while Robert is thinking about that, for those of you who did claim artwork, your arms. Screen, uh, you, you, on the screen right now, I'll even make it large so That's everybody can see. Just, just so you can't miss it. Here are the email addresses for both of our dueling dealers this evening. If you've won anything, please shoot them an email. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and also your YouTube handle just in case. So they can cross-reference the spreadsheet to you when you shoot them, shoot them your email. And uh, once again, the, the scores are uh, updated and accurate. So we did just cross oh, yeah. 30,000. Uh, but yeah, you're uh, you're still down uh, $2,025, believe it or not. So that $2,100 offer to- well, Barry, you offered 2,000. I'm giving them to you for 21. So it's out oh, no. there. <laughs> 250 on Milligan zombie. Ay, 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 ay. I am the victor. And what better way to celebrate than sending the Ramita man straight to Hades? Ah! <laughs> All right. Well, Nick's agreeing to it, so I'll do it. So Nick has agreed, and we just we prematurely oh, played that. Premature. Oh hey, my goodness! You did it to me. You did it to me two weeks ago. We did. We we did it. To, we did actually do that. So uh, that's a phenomenal. How much? Video. What does that put him at? What well, that. At, All right. Uh, I gotta go to dinner, folks. Everybody have a good night. 
twenty-one hundred. <laughs> no, that's like sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh How about two hundred? Ah. Exactly. Ah. Two hundred. Ah. I have to write that down. So that that was for ah. the Yates two, and the Pio. Oh, what? Hey, can, can they play a different meme now, please? Well, <laughs> Woohoo! Wait a minute, I got an offer of 6B at 1200 Which one is that? What was 6B? 6B. All right, let's do it. You're going to do it? You were at 1750 So Yeah, let's do it. I don't, I'm oh, my gosh. It. The wheels, you know. <laughs> Not give them the win, then. The wheels have come off the bus so far. I'm going to do it. 90s. Oh, my gosh. See, you just have to wait till the very end. I mean, you know, Anthony was at 2000 to start. Now he's taking this at $1,200 so he can get the win. Everybody and That's a bag of else. chips. Any, any ah. last offers? Oh my goodness! So, uh, How does this cover not sell? Are you, is anybody sure they don't want this? You were at nine seventy five on that one, as wait, I recall. Wait, what's he at? What's his number at? Well, uh, we got to add twelve hundred to his total to put him oh, at okay. seventeen. Uh, any last offers, folks? Wallywood. <laughs> well, I, I you know all this in a bag of chips, baby. Seventeen. Which what is, a fun night. What, what is, is, this is, what is what we get Holocaust when we have 10 days left. 17. No. No, land graph. I'll do the I'll do the land graph for uh I'll do the land graph for 12 for 1150. I'll do the land graph for 11. You got a better offer on Mike Mike Bolmer offered you uh, Matt Bolmer offered you 3300 for the Spidey Wolverine so the bigs and the Daredevil 101. The Daredevil 101, you were at $2,700, and you were at eight. So you were at $3,500. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll take that. All right. Uh, so that one, yep. So this, I'm just going to kind of change the bigs to $600 to make my Wait, so he gets, so, uh, so Matt Balmer has picked up the okay. six, uh, the three B and the What do I need now? Nine oh, B. Damn it. Come on. This is what do I uh, need now? this is a marathon, everybody. Okay, so you got Anthony, you might have to give away your thousand dollars. Look at that, yeah. Bill. If Charlie Nobody Adler did a eat. portrait of you as a zombie, it oh would look God. a lot like that one right there. Now, hang on Come here, on. everybody. Uh, so let's at least get Mike's score updated there with the thirty-three hundred dollars. No, it's a doozy. <laughs> it's a doozy. Wait, uh, and and James Siegel's in there. Our friend James Siegel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I saw James has made an offer, but I don't know on what yet. Five. Well, five B did sell. Uh, James actually. Five uh, B sold to uh, Swimmers Girl. The the, the, the all that right. Was the all right. Thing. Thank you, everybody. Whew. Man. Oh I need, come it, on. Where are yeah. we at? This is like triple overtime, but uh, <laughs> overtime. Yeah. Well, right. Anthony or Mike has sprayed Spider-Man cologne on himself. Hulk cologne. He's getting ready to break out the Batman cologne now. Uh, oh, you know, Anthony, he's wearing the Catwoman cologne. I don't know what he, what else he's got around there to spray on himself. I think he has uh, really, very what else we got? Stuff, That's a lot but, more than uh, eight sales, I believe. Oh, we have the big. Yeah, what Mikhail's offering you. Uh, uh 2k on the uh, spider-man dailies though no did we we already just sold those, we already sold we? those for uh oh we did uh, you know what i didn't highlight that on my sheet i took 25 on it right yeah that is what i wrote down I, and i i I'm, i apologize i actually didn't any put more sales folks yet. any more sales so, i'm listening you did did you not count that in my total no no i mean i think it's it, i didn't have it checked off on mine well i'm sure that the uh well, who yeah. bought it? Now I'm confused. Yeah. Well, because I don't have a name written list. down in my 8B. All right, Bill. Congrats, everybody. Thank you. Well, did I not sell it? Congrats, I don't everybody. Know. Thank you. Gwen is typing to me right now. Did the 8B sell? Because I didn't write it down on my sheet in all of the mayhem. Spidey Splash. But do you have it marked Wally as gold, Gwen? That is the question. You. Okay, she doesn't have 8B marked as sold. I don't have AV marked as sold. I'm just letting everybody know. Okay. On, on the Spider-Man uh, I'm confused by that. No, I did offer it to 
I did make a counter offer to some. Right. I have it written down as $2,500 is where you're at. ML, if you want to do that, I'll do that with you. Do what? And and I'll do the 175 on the other one uh, for the. uh, For for, for the tie? Anymore? 22. No, I got 175 on my Catwoman. I know that, but hang on a second. I mean, because I'm getting told. Okay. So. Everyone do the land graph. Hang on. This is you Rob, guys. Are, you guys Red are Sonya me cover. Are you kidding me? Twenty two hundred for for the ML. Okay. All right, so, so okay, you're you're selling the eight B for twenty two hundred dollars to Mikhail. To ML. Yes, ML. Thank you. And then and you're then, accepting uh, the offer from Owen Miller at yep, of one seventy five. And that was on your one A. So Marcus, taking... I could do a grand on the land graph because I had fifteen hundred on it. I'll do a thousand on it for you. Okay, right, so now Owen, where am I at? Owen Miller a has thousand. got uh, the one A at one seventy five. So we just added twenty three seventy five to. Uh, to you want it for a thousand, Marcus? Let me know. That's which it. Is, which I would have put hundred on it. Nineteen six fifty or something like that. Twenty three seventy. Yeah. Well. Twenty three seventy five would put you at nineteen seven five zero. So you were at you were ahead by two hundred. You were ahead by two hundred. I think two hundred dollars if I'm if I'm accurate. Oh my god! How did this not sell? Look at that carnage! That's not carnage. Nineties carnage! Oh my god! All right, Uh, I'm calling it, everybody. I'm gonna call it. Sell some more. Pour the coins. Stanley says. And Stanley, to answer your question earlier, you're gonna give Maureen nightmares. It will, Stanley. Uh, Mike. Anybody and Anthony, want a pair of these for four fifty? I'll do it just for the hell of it. <laughs> my color girls, my girls yes. in color. Mike, Mike, Anthony, and Sharon will be at New York Comic Con, Stanley. I they at this moment, I'm not there. going. I'm, I'm not going yet. I'm just, I'm not sure. I so I'm uh, throwing this four hundred more dollars. I'll do two thousand bucks on the Punisher POV. That's insane. Seventeen fifty. <laughs> Dave Kopecky on the carnage. Nick Barucci just offered Mike three hundred dollars for the Bowhampton. Uh, Nick, Nick, I'll do it. That's fine. Oh my goodness, I, this is just killing me, everybody. But uh, but I do have a smile on the Barucci, inside. Why are you rooting for Nick? What's up with that? Barucci's three hundred dollars like, puts. Uh, I'll do it, Nick. Yes, Nick Barucci's three hundred dollars puts Mike back in the lead at nineteen thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, the Carnage page. And the Carnage did the sell carnage the giant prize for twelve hundred dollars. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes, it did. Hollywood. All right. So Spidey can I? Can, I think we got to call this guy. No, yeah, I think Miguel. so. What the Look, hell? I got. I got to dinner to eat. Bill Zombie yes. first. All right. All right. Thank you, All right. everybody. Thank you. Two hundred dollars. Thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, so a one hundred dollar win. Thank you, everybody. I love you, everybody. Thank you. We love you. Please email. Please, I'm signing off. Please email us. Thank you, everybody. Ilya just bought the Steve Rude for three hundred and fifty dollars. That was the three A, three three fifty to Ilya. That has now put Anthony at twenty thousand one hundred dollars. All right. All right, and then uh, Adler did two hundred. There hey. it is. That's a deal of the night. Oh, for oh Bill, out. I was saving this for you. That is you. And, and Kopecky is taking the ad large for two hundred dollars. That was the two B. Does anybody? Listen, dance, I had twelve hundred on this. Does anybody want the Red Sonia published cover? I'll do seven fifty right now. Seven fifty, and you were at nine. Uh, I was 975. at twelve hundred on it. Seven fifty, right. just for tonight only. And and I I should let everybody Nick, know. Seven fifty, if... Nick. This is your company, Nick. <laughs> oh come on, that's seven fifty, Nick. This is your company. I hope somebody's getting me a beer in the house. Two hundred bucks. I'm gonna need one. Yeah, James Wait a minute, has got. Am I going got for the sell? Two hundred bucks. No, you're Anthony. You have four pieces to sell, and one of them is thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. So okay. yeah, yes. But I'm not uh, gonna, I'm not okay, gonna, we got the sale. Out. We got a sale. What did, we what did you do? We got a sale. Todd and Deb bought it for seven. All right, Nick. That's it. Todd and Deb have picked up the 4A <laughs> from Mike at 750. Andrew G, you have a deal. 1900 12K, baby. Let's do it. What? 1900 bucks. 
Oh, oh, if he's going to sell that, then sell it. Oh, my God. I'm selling it. 12K. All right. Woo! All right. So let's at least let's at least keep this thing in order. Todd and Deb picked up the Red Sonia from Mike. 750. That was the 4A from Mike. Now what are you going to do, Barucci? That put Mike at $20,600. I wish that guy would have done it earlier. I could have saved some of my art. Right? <laughs> this is a slow burn, everybody. I but we have got my to... art. <laughs> Where the heck was that? I, I I saw it. Oh, there it was right there. The 10B just sold for $12,000. There's no beer. Okay, there's no beer, but I got another Coke. No, I got you another Coke. Another Thank Coke. you, Emma. Get that man a beer and an, an imported <laughs> beer. Let's oh, my go. goodness. Andrew G. You All right, so email. I have to highlight that Andrew G has picked up the. Andrew, uh, why didn't you do that before? <laughs> it wouldn't have been half as fun, right? No, All right, it would so, have been a lot more fun. I would uh, have saved like a thousand dollars in apparent value. Or whatever. Well, this is uh, this right. is one We're for the record. Fun books. here, and people are getting great. We art. are having fun, and James Siegel, thank you so much, James. A beer for Bill. I'm gonna. I really need one, but uh, so. Uh, but highlighting that, that uh, Andrew G picked up that page for 12K. And uh, yes, the scoreboard the scoreboard has has blown yeah, up. Yeah, just leave it at the end. That's fine. The scoreboard is blown it, up. It, it can't even go that high. Wow, it Congratulations, Andy. Do a cupcake Anthony dance, Anthony Sharon. Anthony gets the win. <laughs> yes, the scoreboard died. Anthony has gotten the win. We've played the Anthony win. We've played the a, a, a meme for Mike. I'm calling it, everybody. I don't yeah, know where please we're at. With email me stories. your address. Even yes. if you've done business with me, put your address. A lot of people don't put their address in their email. Put your shipping address in the email. Thanks. Andrew G., yes, please, please hit me do. up with your PayPal address. Just I'll like send Mike you an said, and we did cross the $50,000 mark. I, I'm not quite sure where. Probably around fifty two. So it's a fantastic show. And, uh, you know, the audience, you guys, you're, you're fantastic. Thank you for sticking with us for so long. We still have a hundred people watching the show after almost well two hours and 15 minutes. It's, what a marathon, but Mike, Anthony, Sharon, you, you, you guys, you're all winners tonight. We're all winners. This was Yay! just a fantastic Great show. Girl. It really was. So, uh, so we'll be back at it again next week, of course, but uh, we need a week off after this evening. So thank you. I mean, everybody oh, won tonight. Believe. Great deals were, were had by many of uh, many of you in the audience, and thank you for, for for the offers, even the ones that weren't accepted. So thank you so much. So thank you, everyone. Good night, and uh, you know I hope you guys can all relax. I, I'm not cracking this coke open, or I'm going to be open. Oh, I'll be, I'll be awake years. until at least six or yeah, seven a.m. So relax. thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. See you.